Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots, the next episode. Um, we stopped halfway through a combat, so we're going to carry on. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, playing Daka, the human fighter, crossbow expert, sharpshooter, extraordinaire. Uh, he is the law, and this is Elliot. He is the law. <laughs> he is the law. Hello everybody, I am Elliot the Nom, a level 4 rock gnome cleric of the life domain. And who do you worship? Uh, I worship the chief engineer. Mm -hmm. That's his holy cog symbol. <laughs> his holy cock. Stored off. <laughs> Dimmy, you're next. Oh, he's, he's muted. You do, you're I'm muted. Here. Hello, everybody. I'm Dimmy G. I am uh, Dimitri of the fighter, <laughs> the woodsman, the axe man, uh, and I shall have my vengeance in this life or the next. <laughs> And then, uh, Demi, uh, Daedal has uh, requested that you actually do his intro as well, please. Hi, I'm Daedal, and I miss acid breaths. <laughs> there you go. Daedal's flagel snap. He's a goblin. He's a level four sorcerer. And the, he's got telepathy. As the you most can tell. man <laughs> in D&D. Telepathy. Telepathy. He, telepathy. Doesn't roll, he doesn't roll higher than a six. <laughs> No, he did not roll high. He did not roll higher than halfway all last session. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's never rolled average or higher. Yep, that is not true. Okay, so uh, last episode you had decided you had a fantastic interaction, correct, with uh, with Faps and uh, his crew. Mm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, he somewhat trusts you now, at least, obviously. Uh, Elliot decided to become a an uh, uh, an art appraiser of sorts. We saw that that whole activity occur, <laughs> um, and then the decision was made to once again take a little Jimmy down into the catacombs. Yeah. It's almost as if you're trying to kill him off. Oh, and one thing we did forget to mention, however, Elliot was able to get his mechanical squirrel. One of his claws is able to uh, to tippy tap a tune now. So mm. Elliot is making uh, making progress towards one of his major goals in the campaign. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> of course, his ultimate aim with a squirrel with claws is to pick up a ball, isn't it? That would be. <laughs> well, the worst part is when I'm gonna have to come up with a friggin' little guy for the for the the screener. And I was thinking about actually using Dimmy's squirrel that has Elliot's face. <laughs> For when he puts it out on the, on the uh, map. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, so we are in uh, we're in round number four of uh, the first fight that y'all have gotten into down in the catacombs. Um, mm. You return to the catacombs as we mentioned. You decided against going over to the area uh, where you saw the uh, ceremony taking place and the. Um, tunnel downward that the the priest had escaped from ran away vamoosed whatever you want to say you instead headed north to see what else was on this we'll call it the first level of the catacombs where for for lack of a better term um whereupon you discovered i should say uh Flargal snarp was ambushed by uh three members of the cultists four members of the cultists two taking swings at him and taking a pretty good chunk out of him um he then proceeded to uh, run away around the corner towards the cultist and away from his healer. Um, <laughs> but then uh, through the deft use of his uh, some of his skill sets as a goblin has now repositioned himself in front of Doc, or should I say Doc has taken cover behind him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're at the top of round four. Dimitriov has one less Hancock than usual, a reminder. He did throw it with a uh, failure. Um and it did miss the uh, the target and was not able to retrieve it. So, uh, Dimitriov, please, sir, take it away, my friend. All right. <clears throat> so, in the midst of the fury, I am going to hit this guy here. I've already targeted him with my axe, my mighty great axe. Uh... No, I'm not. I'm and that would him. not hit him, no. So, no, you're not going to hit him. Right, and then as a... Uh, hang on, does this cost a superior dice? No, so I'm going to use second wind to try and heal myself a little bit. Alright, click your healing there. Bonus, bonus action. Oh, man. So that's five. Oh, man. Yeah, five is better than nothing there. 
diced, mate. Diced. So yeah. Uh, end of my drive. Indeed. All right, Flargle Snarp, you are up, sir. Flargle Snarp with the hee hee. <laughs> you remember the guy who told us to start? He's okay. We can do this. He can flip pancakes in between. Oh, woo! He fell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's rotating vigorously. Oh, God. It's like the I'm not witch project. Holy shit, dude. I don't like that view. <laughs> Upside down dadle. It's like a possessed demon. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm actually semi red, but let's go. Uh... <laughs> right. I want to. There are three dead. I wanna. Moving here. And use my dragon breath. Okay, so open. I'm, I've uh, I've remade your dragon breath. Open your sheet under your spells. You will see a dragon breath granted under cantrips. If you click that, huh. a a um, it'll say use a spell slot. Unclick that, yeah, it'll say use and a then spell. it'll ask you if you want to lay down the template. It click is... yes. But when you put it down, it's control and the mouse to aim the aim it. Yeah, that's the next thing. Is okay. Do you see how it's aimed to the right? I got an echo. Someone, someone's echoing. Dado's echo. Yeah. Dado's watching the stream. I think. So. Yeah, I am. I can't get it to work. There, I'm gonna mm -hmm. mute myself so it stops echoing. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'm assuming he means to hit these two down here. Yes. Yeah. So, um, holy hell! What else did Dado do here? <laughs> He's got stuff moving everywhere here. He took his mouse what? with him. <laughs> what happened? Uh... Dude, that's fine. Just roll for damage. You're fine. I'll All show right. you how to use that when you have when we have more of your attention. Not getting upset that's with you. I'm just saying when you're done with your with your 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 pancakes, we'll get out. Oh, oh you're talking about well. average dice roll now. <laughs> he huh? rolled well. He steal my dice. Well, let's not have them save shit. Okay, first one failed. Oh. Oh, they're blessed as well, aren't they? Yeah, but this might break Second his concentration. Succeeds. Oh, this might so break close. his concentration, though, right? Because he was hit? Or does that count as being hit? Because he's taken damage, isn't he? Which one's the first? Hey, can, uh, can, I, can I do the damage here first, Jim? Yeah, yeah, no, but I was, I was just excited. I was just excited. I just got excited. I swear to God, Jim. I just got excited. <laughs> imagine, like... imagine, imagine being blessed, lads. I know, right? Can't even oh, imagine he's it. Dead. First oh, one's he's dead. dead. Okay, so the first one's dead. I wasn't supposed to do that. Hold on one second. I just get excited. I'm sorry. I'll try to not be excited. All right, so no, 17 points. Uh, one half of that is eight, nine, because right. it's rounded up. Look at me going, killing stuff. Well done, Dado. Once. Thank you. Rolled well. Instantly rolled well the first dice. <laughs> Luckiest man <laughs> in D&D. &D. What is wrong with your face, dude? <laughs> He's like, oh, I rolled a dice! <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Um... Oh, is that the concentration? That is the concentration, yes, my friend. Oh, wow. <sighs> Glorious. Okay, so very nice, Dadle. Very, very nice. Thank you. Uh, and since he died, I don't need to do my nimble escape. No, you do not. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and I'm um, done, so. Very okay, I move in to the injured... Flag or snap, sensing again, and wounded comrade. And I cast cure wounds, level one. We're still getting a small echo. Oh, that might be dead, huh? Yeah, yeah. Four. 
Big heels. Huge heels. All right, I'll add it to him. Yeah, cool. Um, and then as my bonus action. Oh, wrong way. Hold on one sec. Oh, you you killed him. You you took. Yeah, I tried to. As <laughs> my bonus action, the ethereal cog moves into the remaining coolest. The ethereal what? Cog. Oh, cog. Okay. Cog. Good. 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 Cock with a G. Ah, uh, wait, how do I do this? I've lost my... attack thingy. H how do I change to... Oh, no, I am controlling him. How do I... Uh... If you open the, the character sheet there, it should have the attacks under his. Or under Glorious. its, its ah. sword. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will it? defend. I will defend. That's it. Okay. 36 months, lol. Four. Thank you very, very much, Night Demon Sting. Fantastic for 36 glorious months. That does hit, so go ahead and roll damage. Unbelievable. Three whole years. Oh. Bonks him on the head, but it's only a glancing blow. It's still damage. And uh, that's... Uh, well, I guess I'll just move out of the way slightly in case Daka wants to do some Daka in. Mm, protect little Jimmy. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so our blood alcohol... Blood, blood, al blood, blood alcohol level. <laughs> our blood acolyte is going to attack... It's going to attack Jim. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Dimitri. <laughs> oh, got it. Yeah, six. For oh. one point of damage. <laughs> Little Ouch. glancing blow there. All right, Daka, you're up. Glorious. Daka will just shoot this nearest fella. With his crossbow, just a normal shot. Pew. Easy hit. Yeah, that hits. Boosh. Kills him. Glorious. Yeah, it puts him down. So a nice shot right to center mass, right? Just aiming aiming right over the top of uh, <laughs> Flargo's <Snarf. laughs> Yep, yep, that's no problem. <laughs> you give... You you manage so so I'm gonna paint you a picture here, Jim. You or I'm sorry, Daka. You 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 move forward up to the pedestal that is uh, Flargelstar, putting your lower torso up against his back um, while you while you steady across his head with your elbow on top of him. <laughs> yeah, perfect, a perfect little firing step. I, I call firing step for I, you. I call Flagel my fighting ladder. <laughs> and then uh, with the bonus action, might as well take a shot at the Blood Acolyte now. Um, so, of course, can uh, can use the uh, reckless shot on him. It reckless shot is a stupid name, right? Because it's more just like um, headshot, right? It should be more like headshot or whatever, or like crack well, uh, shot yeah, or something. I'm, you're trading you're trading the ability to hit for the ability to damage. So, hmm. although usually that would be something along the lines of uh, like swinging too hard, right? You would think with like a, a ranged weapon. Like, how do you take a reckless shot for more damage, right? Yeah, so it's got to be like aiming for the head, isn't it? So more chance you miss. But if you do, I would hit... call it like a directed shot or a, or a more aimed in shot, mm. whatever, right? Yeah. So we'll try and shoot him in the face. <laughs> Boosh. Oh. Just hits him, yes. So you don't get him in the head, but you get him right in the friggin' throat, right? Glorious. He's going to take some damages. Oof. Rolling the one naturally. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Finish him, little Jimmy. Oh, little Jimmy. And then, and then, <laughs> the, to end the turn, I shall say, take him down, little Jimmy. <laughs> Are you going to direct little Jimmy to take him down? Yeah, he's got a sling. Let's, let's flip and go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little Jimmy weaves in and out of the, uh, gets around Ellie and pats him on the head as he goes by. <laughs> All right, let's see if little Jimmy can pull this off. 
<laughs> Holy shit, he hits him. <laughs> Let's go, little Jimmy. It puts him down. <laughs> Jimmy. I can't wait till he gets home and tells his mom about how Daka took him into combat and has him slaying cultists. <laughs> He's killed two this men. Is, that's going to be, I, I highly recommend everybody watching now comes back for that episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. All right, so that ends our combat there. Glorious. I'll give a little. I'll give little Jimmy a little high five and say, "Well done." <laughs> I can't. I gotta decide how far I'm gonna let this thing go with little Jimmy as you, as you use him as a freaking as a little turret, basically. <laughs> it was really good, though, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Absolutely. Okay, so um, combat has ended, or at least combat as you know it. Yeah. Okay, what would you gentlemen like to do next? I mean, we I would like to search the dead acolyte that I've targeted. Yeah, I mean, we've got to search the bodies, haven't we? Yeah, um, this is so again. This these are just traditional acolytes. You find six gold pieces, kind of mixed and intermingled among them. They're they're tattered and broken robes and leather armor, so on and so forth. Nothing major on these guys specifically. So I get six gold pieces, is that what you said? No, no, um, you find everybody finds that amongst everybody, so divvy that up however you'd like to. Nah, right. Uh, is that like one each? Two yeah. each for the big ones and one for each for the small ones. <laughs> yes, that's uh, perfect! That, that seems to be the usual approach. <laughs> that's perfect, <laughs> Elliot. Little, little Jimmy looks up at, at Daka with big, big brooding eyes. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him one. <laughs> I'll give, I'll give, so yeah, Dak will like, you know, take his two coins and just casually flick one to little Jimmy and say, you weren't that lad. Yeah, and, 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 and like a little kid, right, whose, whose uncle has just given him, you know, a coin and says, keep this between us, you know, he eyes this, you know, in his, in his palm, it's a pretty big coin. And, uh, and, you know, he, he stuffs it into one of his pockets really quick and he kind of looks at you like, yeah, dude, our secret. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Um, there's some there's some scimitars here, isn't there? Three scimitars. How many scimitars do you want? <laughs> uh, four scimitars. There's four scimitars. I want all of the scimitars, how, please. How how do I go about like searching for traps? Or can I not do that? So you can definitely do that. Generally, that's like a a a perception roll. Um, sometimes with advantage based on things, but. You would have to kind of, so searching for traps is different, right? It's generally speaking, when you search for traps, you're searching for a trap on a chest, a trap on a door, a trap on, uh, okay. you know, that doesn't mean that there can't be things like traps across, um, you know, caverns, yeah, things probably. like that. But you would kind of have to, it's not just like, I want to search for traps. And then it's like, that covers the whole gambit. You almost have to give me either a reason or why it is that you're doing something or and okay. then we kind of run from there. It'd be like, you know, searching for anything. You wouldn't just say, I'm going to search the room. And then, you know, I would tell you everything that is of note. It's like, well, what are you searching for? Mm. Well, I'm looking for books uh, that may have to deal with whatever or blah, blah, blah. So, uh, right, I've got a couple of quick questions out of character. So I've got sure. an inspiration point. Did I, did I get that because I leveled or? No, you probably, um, I probably gave that to you at the end of not last episode, but the episode okay. before. Um, In fact, I think that was when you, no, that was, you got that when you and Elliot were role-playing with, uh, what's his name? Oh, the hat. The hat? Well, not necessarily for slapping him, but when you guys oh, were talking to uh, um, yeah. Faps. So my other question is, as well, is I don't think my passive, like, triggers automatically. So I've got fighting style, great weapon fighting. So when I roll a one or a two on my injury dice... I should be able to re-roll it for like free. Yeah, that will not trigger automatically. That's something you've got to point uh, out and re-roll uh, it. Yeah, yeah, that's not. Yeah, exactly. There's not a way, unfortunately, for me to set up a no, system that's cool, that that's says. Cool. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't know about it, so it's my fault, really. But, yeah. yeah, if you, yeah, that's that's a that's another good point or another good thing to kind of point out there. Yeah, you, but you do have to monitor. It's almost like 
with Elliot, it's different because his is affecting healing that I can actually tell it any healing things, but I can't okay. tell it for yours, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, because yeah, again, that's for great weapons. So if you're throwing your Hancock, the Hancock's not it a great count. weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's only for my axe. So yeah. It, it, well, it's for any great weapon specifically, well, but your axe is one of them, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, uh, great, great combat. What, what yeah. are we doing? Yeah, well done, everyone. Um, I think we should we should get back to the, the our plan of uh, of of exploring, right? I mean, we haven't used too many resources here, I don't think, in this fight. Um, I've got no superiority dice left. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I've got a lot, so. I can probably carry the next fight a little bit. Um, okay. So I think we're we're okay for another one more combat. Achoo! <laughs> yes, I think so. I think the plan is then uh, Flago yes, goes I, first. I can let you be the fire breather next combat. Yes. <laughs> I think. May I have... suggest that we examine the altar before we proceed, or the, the area the altar? of the sacrifice? I, I, I we can't. can't we it can't see it. We can't see it. Uh, but we could oh, have. We Okay, uh, okay. Uh, you've got the uh, yes. you've got the uh, thing. Vision. We can't still can't see much yet. We're 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 really bad at seeing things, <laughs> right. um, um, Elliot. Are you are you um, releasing your weapon at this point? My my weapon. Oh oh yeah, uh, a good gorge, point. Um, well, it's I think it's expired, right? Uh, yeah, it only lasts a minute or whatever, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, one minute. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gone anyway. Yeah. Well, it's it's ten rounds. You only went through four of them, so technically speaking, you'd still have another 30, 40 seconds of it. Yeah, but we're chatting and stuff, aren't we? So yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. No, no problem. I just want to make sure that I yeah, gave you that yeah, option. Yeah. What I don't want to have happen is you go, oh, well, I wanted to do, the, you know. <laughs> sure. So we we approach this marking on the ground, and I have in my possession uh, a, a piece of paper, a drawing of the cultist symbol we found at the previous place. So can I? I look at the symbol and I compare it with the one on the ground. Is it the same? Um, for, for the most part, it's identical. And the only reason I say for the most part is the blood may be splattered in a little bit of a different shape here or there. It is not identical to what you drew, but it is damn, damn close. Okay. Whoa. You know, v variance being maybe 10% just because of, you know, maybe an angle is off here or there. But being the PhD that you are, you're going to, and, and an engineer, your PC, your character would look for intricacies in my viewpoint. I'd be like, Nom, just remind me, did did you draw this picture from a dream? No, I I drew it uh, from from the last from the last from the first the first place that we found the people being sacrificed to meet of with the uh, with the, the spellcaster. Uh, after we after we defeated them, I copied the symbol from the ground, so it's the same uh, symbol. In that was a locations. smart thing to do, Elliot. You're a clever little norm. <laughs> well, I, I think I think a magical uh, god called Jackball might have suggested it to me uh, <laughs> <laughs> at the time. That was actually that was actually inspiration offered to you by the chief engineer. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, chief engineer. I'm serve you as always. So, who exactly is this chief engineer? Um, how comes he tells you all this stuff? Well, he's my deity. I, I worship him. I, Truth be told, I, I am no healer. I, I am an engineer myself. You know, I am a, a gnome of mechanisms, you know, of, you know, copper and quartz. You know, I, I, I make m m machinations come alive, you know, m m m m you know. So, is he like a god or is he just like a really good engineer? No, he's a god. He's an, he's an engineering god, yeah, yeah. But I, uh... I, I channel his electromechanical power to you know in, into healing you know and is he like alive or is he like I mean, is god alive there well like, like friend he, you, you, you he, ask... does, does he have a physical form like or i if if he has i have not laid eyes upon him okay right. mm. your your questions go beyond the the simple mind of value of the norm i'm afraid <laughs> super interesting yeah. Right. Do you? Do you? Do, who? Who do you worship, Dimitriov? Do you have a god? I lost my faith a long time ago, Nom. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry to hear that. I. I hope. Have you heard of Lord and Savior, the Chief Engineer? <laughs> I, I, would you like to read this pamphlet? <laughs> <laughs> Come in in a correspondence me. course at the university. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daka, have you have you seen anything like this symbol before? I don't know. Ever. 
you ever come across anything like this? I don't know. Can I make a roll to see if I have? <laughs> Uh, you don't need to see. You don't need. You don't need to roll for this. You don't recognize the symbol. Elia didn't recognize a symbol. Mm -hmm. Flargal didn't recognize the symbol. But it's obvious that this is if this is something that has to do with a cultist ceremony. I mean, we covered mm -hmm. that a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so you would have seen this at 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 locations of ritual sacrifice in the past, right? Right. So perhaps in the past, when you were coming up as a member of the Gray, you had investigated along with some senior uh, members of the Gray. Locations of murders within towns, cults within towns, and you know it. Th this is not. It, it's much more grisly than you're used to. I mean, there's a lot of blood, right? I mean, let's be honest. Um, there's a lot of parts, but you've also seen the worm. You've also seen things eating. I mean, there's a lot of weird shit going on here, right? Uh, Nom, is it possible that this symbol summons the worm? Well, the problem is that upon his investigation of the previous cultist site, Flagosnarp surmised that the cultists were attempting to keep something at bay. Uh, so it, it seems oh, that this mystery right, goes so... a little deeper than, <clears throat> than we, we realize. Uh, it, could, it might be a summoning symbol for all I know, but I'm no expert. But from, from, from Flagosnarp's interpretations, maybe the opposite. But all, all the sacrifices are on the symbol, right? Is, is that the mm. same at the last location? So maybe if you feed the symbol blood, it stops the worms, or...? Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> right. You see, little Jimmy kind of, he's, little Jimmy's just, he doesn't want to step in the blood, right? Yeah, Kid yeah, sees all this, he's like, man, I'm not having any of this. Can we, can we take a sample of the, well, it doesn't really matter, is it? It's just blood, isn't it, I guess. Yeah, it's just blood. We got we got samples of of things. We got like leech parts. We've got other things. All right, <clears throat> I'll follow your lead, Decker. Well, I think we should we should go. I think it was a good plan that we had with uh, Flagel Snap leading the way. Uh, however, I think what we should do in future is, if Flagel Snap does hear anything, he should transmit that instantly via his telepathy um, that he told us about down the pub. <laughs> You don't know about any telepathy yet there, Daka. Okay, Elkin yeah. does. Flago yeah. Snobby is telepathic, Daka. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> he maybe what? he should maybe he should, maybe in future if he senses uh, enemy combatants, maybe he should alert you with a sneeze, <laughs> and then and then you shall be able to respond perfectly. <laughs> while, while I while I don't at all disagree with with this this plan. We have to time it well. Bless only lasts one minute, so we need to get the timing down. That is like ten turns, though, right? So it's way better it to is. get it done before combat starts, basically. Yeah, as long as we're not that long getting into combat. I don't want yeah. to cast it and then there ends up not being a combat, or it takes a long time mm -hmm. to get into combat. Mm -hmm. But uh, otherwise, do you, have to be, do you have to be concentrated the whole time? Yeah, it's... but that just means mm -hmm. I don't have to not take Hang damage back. on that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Get hit, I, I think see... it is. Yeah, you, I, I can, you can still, still act and everything. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Can cast other spells as well. Just can't so, cast another um, spell that needs concentration. Who's got the torch? Is uh, Elliot the oh, non has the torch? I currently have the torch because he doesn't need it, hands, right? And you still have your shield out, correct? Not your weapon. Uh, yes, correct. Yeah, can you see anything uh, north of us, Norm? No, there's a passageway, uh, an open passageway. I can't see very far down it. And south. <laughs> Is it? Oh, uh, south. There's, 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 a, there's a ledge. Uh, I think we can climb up the ledge. You definitely can. It's only maybe... It's not really a ledge. It's more of a step. Maybe a foot, foot and a half, two feet up. I will uh, go with the numb. A bit further. <laughs> oh. it's, it's, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody just moves around the map. <laughs> <laughs> this, this rock is a different colour to the other rocks. Oh, let's look at this rock. Oh, let's have a look at the rock. <laughs> mm. Mm, that's a nice rock. rock. But, but why is it, why doesn't it match the what the walls? You know, is it was it brought here or something? You know, it's it's it stands out. I think you may be thinking. You could too you could much. do a perception check if you want, Elliot. Ooh. I will do a perception check on the rock. Maybe you're not. <laughs> it is a bit weird that it is a different colour. It's alright. Mm, it is. It's just a rock. 
<laughs> it's, it's just a rock. It is a it is a brilliant uh, it is a brilliant uh, rock of Nice, roughly uh, three feet tall, uh, maybe five feet or so wide. Um, doesn't look no um, no drag marks. No, it it does look like it, it. While it is a different color, there are different color rocks. Just so you know, like when I put walls in, they're all the same color. Um, so there there are other other types of rocks around here. You know, there there's. Over in this area, there's there's uh, similar colors to it. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. A naturally occurring rock, then. A naturally occurring. Rock. So, so so far, yes. <laughs> well, this this this. The minerals. Out, I guess. Is there anything else anyone wants to do here? Or? No, I think that's it. Was. Flargle's not just rolled a four. No, that wasn't Flargle, that was me. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Right, so yeah, let's let's try and get stealthy again, I guess, eh? And and yes. let and let Flargle take the lead again. Alright, Flargle, if you are I'm assuming you're gonna go stealth. You're muted, brother. Thanks. Uh did we examine the whole uh Is this like an end? Song. Yeah, I'll start making it. Yes, we can. So, um, yeah, this corner area is a dead end, if you will. There is another passageway to the north. All right, we haven't gone there. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll go into stealth and then move north. All right, give me a stealth check, please, real quick. We'll see how stealthy you are. Should Should we follow Flagel Snob or we remain here? Like about uh, six, sixty yards uh, behind, right? Uh, or something. Yeah, so that yeah. We don't give our position away. And Flag so stop. 60, 60 yards is the is the range of Six, my 60 feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 60, 60 feet, feet. Yeah. Communicate to me as you did before. Any any yeah. danger? Yeah. And whisper I'm so, whisper I'm, in his ear. I'm sorry about the sudden intrusion. Uh, it's okay. It wasn't weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right. So give me a give me your um, stealth check. Thank you. <laughs> I'm moderately stealthy. <laughs> oh my god, that was way funnier than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, so um, what we'll do is uh, go ahead and give me 30 feet forward. Oh god. Alright, give me another 30 feet. Alright, and then you see what you see there. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what I see is uh, a wagon um, without like anyone um, dragging it. Like the, it's it's an abandoned cartwheel wagon, um, and there's like remains of a body on it. And then the uh, road appears to fork again. Um, but I see no enemies, so I'm prepared to move ahead. Flagos not sees a wagon and a fork in the road. He's preparing to move ahead. Okay, well that's a uh, wagon. Let's move up there behind him. And a and a body. I can sort of measure the body. How's the wagon getting here? Alright, uh hold it when you're sixty yards behind me. Uh, no, they're fine, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, telling Elliot because not see. Uh, okay. We're waiting here. Oh wait, little Jimmy has proceeded ahead. We're following little Jimmy. <laughs> right. Oh wait, no, I can't, I can't talk to you of those, can I? <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You're good right there. Okay, so um, Florgo Snarp, but obviously you see what you see. Yeah, what would you like uh, to do? So uh, again, I communicate back to Elliot that uh, to the left, to the right, I can't see where the road leads. Um, to the left, it is a clearing. Again, um, where I can see, um, I see no enemies, but I see dead bodies and more symbols on the ground in in large amounts of blood again. Oh so man! I, 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 I assume that there are more enemies uh, near, but like I can't see anyone. I, I'm feeling a little tired, guys. <laughs> maybe maybe we. <laughs> Maybe we could get a rest. <laughs> I don't think we've got. I mean, we, there's no, there's no rest here. There's no resting here. Um, 
they're sure to come find us if we try to rest here. Right. Do you want to? Do you want to keep? All right, the, uh, scouting what do you guys want to do at this point? I can see roughly. How far is it that I can see? Uh, I'm not gonna. I believe you're six. I think you're sixty feet vision. Uh, fifty. Fifty, 50 feet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, the further the fifty feet, and like obviously, like I can't see past corners. So the fifty feet ahead here, um, the gap into the room is is three feet, or no, fifteen feet, ten to fifteen. Uh, so yeah, um, obviously I see a little bit more going further in, but uh, it appears like the room. Um, you can go left, but you can't go right once you enter the room. So there might be enemies to to our left coming in here. Um, if there are any enemies, so, and it's not abandoned. Uh, so what do you want to do? I think I think again, you know, like if you just if you just scout ahead and then and then just you know obviously you can run back right if you, if anything happens and and we can run forward yeah, right. and everything and it's. This seems the most sensible way to do it. Uh, yeah, all right. Can I can I then prepare like some form of disengagement? Like I'm the now that I'm scanning ahead. Like now, I just want to run away if I encounter something. Unless you're surprised, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you could you could you could just tell me you could declare just say listen at at the first sign of what I perceive to be an enemy, I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely do something like that, provided you are not surprised by something like you were the last combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. So let's be a scaredy cat, Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I move up here, I guess. Can, uh... okay, very, really quickly here, the party behind you, um, everybody give me a stealth check, please. No shit. <laughs> I just want to see how loud or how, you know, as far as, even though you're not, like, Daedal is literally in stealth trying to sneak around, you're coming up behind him, but you are going to be making, I'm assuming you're trying not to make noise, but. Correct. Four, wow, that's a lot of 12s. Okay. Well, we're all equally stealthy. I set the baseline. Well, oh, fuck you, little Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so little Jimmy... This um, is why you don't bring a little kid in with you. Yeah, so... Uh, God, what would, what would be... So, little Jimmy's got more than one coin in his pocket. Right? And and his pockets are not... He, he's not wearing, you know, quote-unquote adventurer's gear and or armor or... You know, they, his pockets are a little bit larger. In fact, his pants are probably slightly oversized for him, right? Something that was like a hand-me-down, possibly. So y he is making noise as he's moving, and you guys realize that now. Not a lot of noise. It's not like he's freaking, you know, banging on a tambourine. But he's making some. He's making noise in comparison to the to the four of you. Dadel, go ahead. All right. Um... Yeah, I, I whisper to Elliot that I still don't see anything, um, but we should not relay this to the others, but so that he's prepared. Right, can I say, I'll just say to uh, Elliot the Nom, I'll say, do you want to go like a little bit in front of uh, Dakar and I, seeing as, oh no, you've got the you've got the torch, no, dis disregard, disregard that idea. <laughs> disregard that idea. Disregard? <laughs> disregard. Well, I thought, because he's got the night vision, right, so if he's a bit in front and then we're behind, but then that doesn't work because he's got the torch. Well, the thing is, do you, would you like to take the torch attacker? Because I've just realized that in the last combat, I actually had three hands because I had my torch and my shield and I was casting spells. So perhaps in the future, so as to avoid this, uh, either I have to put my shield away or uh, give someone the torch. Jimmy. Little Jimmy. Oh, can we can we trust the child with the torch? torch to Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, little Jimmy the torch bearer. Oh, hold this. Hold this. Stay close to Decker. <laughs> Hold this giant burning plank of wood. <laughs> okay, I Try hand the to torch to, um, to little Jimmy. Little Jimmy heaves it mightily up, dude. He's just yes! he's he's he, he's able to easily. He takes the, the torch right out of uh, right out of Elliot's hands. There was a little bit of concern, you know, because he's 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 not exactly you know he's a gangly little dude, right? It's like he's he's the kind of kid like that you. 
You worry like if, if you hand him, you know, to go with joy at this momentous like <laughs> task that he's being given. Exactly he's, right. He's so immersion <laughs> in the flames. <laughs> it's like the Olympic torch, isn't it? <laughs> <The little guy. laughs> little Jimmy's the real hero. That's it. So and I can't believe little Jimmy just he's he's blowing you guys up, dude. In that case, I will follow a little closer behind. No, no, don't move. Don't move up there, Dimitriov. Otherwise, you're in front of, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So then you we've can got, like, declare you want to do point. that, but let me know what's happening. Yeah, I think it's All right. So, Dato, you see, let's go back to Dato. Dato's in the lead. Dato, you see what you see there. Yeah. No. So, I'm sorry. Mm. You're good. I tell Elliot, actually, I come back. All right. I love team. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> um, so I'm whispering everything because I I went into the middle of the room. Uh, I could see the entire room, um, and let's see. <laughs> and uh, there was no one there, um, but there is an, a cave. Like a, a cave um, descent, same as in the first cultist room that we then um, stumbled upon, uh, where the where the body ran away to. Uh, so so like I don't know what's in there. Like if there's something there that might hear us. Um, so like we should should stay silent. I think we should move, in my opinion, we should move on to our right, see what, where that leads us, and then come back here and try to descend. Yeah, okay. Okay. Elliot, okay, Elliot could go in and, and just examine the markets on the ground and see, compare it to the others. I could do before that. Before we move on. Once more, I withdraw the marking I created on the piece of paper and compare it to that on the floor. All right, give me another perception check, please. Okay, so it's the same, essentially the same symbol. Um, nothing really stands out. There are, you know, there's, there's a few body parts and stuff sitting around here as well. Very well. I, I would turn to the others and tell them the news. Mm. Okay. Sorry? Okay. <laughs> what, was so, what? 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 <laughs> He's whispering, I'm so it's to attract the animals. Oh, right, I see. I tell them, I tell them quietly, yeah. Tell them quietly. Yeah, okay. Let's go, Flaggle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, go ahead and give me another 30 feet, and then you see what you see. Okay, Daka, give me a um, give me a dexterity check, please. A dexterity check. Um... Fuck off. Okay, so little Jimmy, in his fervor to carry this torch and stay close to you, has actually gotten a little too close to you and has burned your ass. <laughs> that torch, because he's holding this sucker up and he's kind of staying close to you. And he, and as you guys are going down this hallway, he kind of bumps into you from behind. You take two points of damage from this torch. Thanks. <laughs> um, and then let's see, give me... What kind of a check would you have that... that can you i don't want to say you'd yell out i don't think you'd be i don't think you'd yell out as a result of this i think this is something that like i said it's a small wound it's his the torch just kind of, it's more of a heat burn than a than like he burned you you know what i mean like when you put no, your hand too he's close he's to a fire no he's how about, yeah, how about, he's, little jimmy's how, branded him you mad a survival no. check we're gonna we're gonna he's, be a little... prison branded jim <laughs> fuck's sake branded by little jim he's killed two men he's branded <laughs> <laughs> so is there, is, there a, is there anything you want to tell little Jimmy by chance? Or? Yeah, I'll say, be a bit more careful with that. Be a bit more careful. Stay okay, he just, he's like embarrassed, right? He's like, shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, just stay, stay a little bit further back. 
Oh, I'm sorry, that was out of character. Just see it, Doc, I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> I'm going okay, to move just... up to Elliot. Well, I think we should have like, you know, uh, gaps. Relay. We, we, yeah, we should have like the relay, right? So that because because we've got the torch, so we should be. Yeah, you don't. Um, so go ahead. Now it's. I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna assume you're kind of working. With, we don't need to necessarily do the one, two, three. You know, it's gonna take a little while. So mm. um, I'm gonna assume you're in this type of a setup as as um, Flargo goes up. As yeah. Flargo moves forward. Yeah, yeah. So we can just do Flargo and then. So um, Flargo, go ahead and move thirty feet or whatever distance you'd like to move forward. Yeah, so I, I can see blood on the ground at the far end of what, what I can see. And it seems like the cave is about to expand again. Yeah, there's a dirt pile on the ground um, with blood seeping out in two directions from it. Um, so again, like I am suspicious that there might be enemies ahead. I can't see anyone though. But it's the same kind of dirt pile from the first encounter we had with the cultist. So Flargo's moved once, right? So we can all move up now. Yep, good move up. Um, Flargo, stay where you're at really quick, please, until they move forward. Yeah, sure. Let me move the torch forward because he's going to be near you. Glorious. Don't get too close. Yeah, don't get too close, little Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna burn Elliot right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Flargo, so um, give me a perception check. Yeah. Uh, this is why I wanted observance. <laughs> Okay, so what is it that you're, what's your, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm, I'm mainly looking for enemies, right? Uh, and for uh, signs of the mirror. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm wary that we're going to run into, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit scarred. Like, I'm not used to being um, as, like, taken off guard, the same as I was last uh, encounter. Um, I'm used to moving alone and being way more careful. Um, so yeah, that that's like what's closest on my mind, like not letting that happen again. Okay, but what are you? So what are you doing? I've got your state of mind. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm inclined to move forward. Like I'm I'm curious. I want to see more of what's in there. Yeah, there are more symbols on the ground. Still no sign of enemies. More bodies on the ground. Another uh, heap of dirt. Um, so, like, I checked the roof as well. Like, are there holes in the roof above those two? Yeah, there's a... So, right above... So, there's this large dirt pile here, right? Yeah. I'm and above it is there. another... It's 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 interesting because you can kind of see into this hole. This isn't the remember how the other ones were kind of disappearing out of sight, and yeah. there is indeed some type of a I don't want to call it a tunnel, but there's it grows smaller near the end and and it it continues on for a little bit. All right. So where a traditional cave in would be like a circular shape, if you will, if that makes sense, you know, like the. The roof will have fallen in somewhere and there'll be like a, a ripple to the roof line or something along those lines. This looks like more of a funnel shape, if you will. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, is there like... I don't see anyone to the right, so I'm going to move up here. Okay, as you round that corner, you get ambushed yet again, brother. What the fuck? I could literally see everything there but one square. Yep, there so yeah, so they're hiding from you because you were a little bit too loud coming down this uh down this corridor yet again. But Flagler moved forward a little bit as well, hadn't he? So 
we would have moved up the game. Uh, we'll move you guys up in one second here. Yeah. Elliot would definitely have seen this. Right. The minute he comes around, Elliot would have seen instantly that 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 he was beset upon by two more. Right. God, can I cast a spell? <laughs> so two attacks from the fanatic and one from the cultist. Oh, God. <laughs> Point goblin. <laughs> That so six points of damage on the first one. Three on the second. And the other cultist pulls out his scimitar. Ooh. And misses you with the second one. So you're able to you're able to stealthily dodge the second attacker. Um, after the first one makes its attack. Um, give me one second here because you, I'm assuming you are going to um, definitely disengage and move back. So let me ex let me expose everything that you see here first. How was all of that hidden? Where were they hidden? Explain that to me. In the dark. You came around the corner and right away, bang. What, so what I you have to- what you, The entire cave. Okay, so what you have to understand is when you move forward, even though we're sitting here talking for two and a half minutes, it's happening as you literally move into that room. Yeah. So you came around the corner and bang, two guys swung at you. But I could see the entire room from my first view where I stood here, two squares back. And, and that's why we make a perception roll for that. So I see what you can see. So Flargo, you're up first with some type of an action before we move into combat here. I mean, I presume I'm not allowed to count, cast any spells, right? You can if you want. This is your action before we enter combat. So if you decide that you're going to do something like that to a reaction, as opposed to just disengage and leave, then we'll roll the regular initiative to see if you can react before others do. Does that make sense? Sorry, what? Will they take that one uh, one more time? So if okay. I want to do uh, cast a spell. I'll still have to roll the initiative and see. Then we roll, roll initiative because we're starting combat. All right, then I'll just disengage. So now we'll roll initiative and start the combat. All right. Wow, I'm really good at rolling dice. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, Jack. Well, oh, it was Little Jimmy. Okay, good. Little Jimmy's a ninja. A, a <laughs> Little oh, Jimmy wow. is glorious. All right, so, um, Floggle, I'm going to give you a second to kind of explain to everybody kind of what's going on and what you've seen. Yeah, all right. So they're uh, <clears throat> I got ambushed by two uh, shitters, and there are like uh, five more, uh, two acolytes. Uh, well, one acolyte and one priest. No, it's two acolytes and one priest, isn't it? We can see in the combat tracker. No. Oh, right. Yeah, you can and see what's in the combat tracker. Yeah, it's in there. You see, Fargo got a complete viewpoint of of the uh, uh, of the battlefield uh, prior to pulling everyone back. Everyone else is to the left after you enter the the room. Um, the two shitters that ambushed me is they're like straight ahead, like virtually in the entrance. Um, there's a small entrance, like thirty yards out of you, fifty yards out of you, uh, into the room. Um, there are two dirt piles. Um, like. We could try to use that as a choke point, um, would be my suggestion. Uh, so like, do me rush ahead and <laughs> choke that up. <laughs> <laughs> the blood I've abomination got, like, is presumably yeah, the gun I've got, got no dice, so like, it's going to take me two turns to get there. 
The charge is just an ability, though, right? The charger is just an ability. You don't need to use. Yeah, charger is a guys. charger is your feet, Demi. Not your um. Not your uh, what's it called? Um, superiority dice. Hmm. Can I ping on the map? Absolutely, you can. Oh. oh hang on. Hold down left click. Well, All right. Here, here's the choke point. If you see mine. Yeah. I don't know exactly what you see on this. It's within Pull 60 yards. <laughs> yeah, he okay. made feet. Yeah, it's like 45 feet uh, ahead of uh, you guys. Okay, so with that, combat starts, gentlemen. Yeah. So um, the first blood cultist <clears throat> simply takes a uh, position here, and he is going to hold his, his uh, action. Uh, Doc, anything you want to yell out to little Jimmy? Oh, don't drop the torch! <laughs> don't, just pretend you're in prison. Don't, don't drop the torch. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding the torch, Doc. I'm holding the torch. <laughs> You'll be safe there. Just, uh, just don't get involved. Okay, so you hear this around this guttural, and it's not a roar. But it's like a guttural cry, um, very deep, very primal. Just this, I mean, it's, it's nothing you've ever heard before, at least down here. All right, Dimitrov, you're up. Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know what to do here, because if I charge, I charge past the choke point, so... I mean, we've got range now remember, there, so, we? okay, so, your dash action, so you move 30 feet for your regular movement, then you're considered yeah. to be dashing anything beyond that. So you could literally move 30 and dash 5 and still be charging, because you only have to move a minimum... 10 feet. No, but what I'm saying is the guy is 60 foot away, so I don't want to go past the choke point, so I'm I'm not actually going to attack. I'm just going to go here. And then I'm going to chill there, and that's my turn. All right, can Elliot, I, you sir? Can I, the can nom? I, can I, can I hand Dimi, Dimitri of an item? Does that count as an action? Chew! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it depends on what you want to hand him. A ring. Ooh. A ring? Mm. You're, you're getting engaged? No. <laughs> I but, do! On a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> you, may, you may hand him a ring. We'll consider that a non-action. Thank you. So I, I, I move over to Demetrio. As he... I can't move my player. What the hell? Mm. Uh, uh, top left, make sure you've got the ah, little yeah, man thank you, thank selected. You. Uh, so as, as Demetrio dashes past me, uh, I, I I throw my arm out to him and, and hand him a ring and yeah, I just say to him, put it on, put it on your finger. What is this, Norm? No time to explain. Wear the ring. I give him a strange look and I slip the ring onto my wedding finger. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Instantly on the wedding finger. Yes. <laughs> oh, glorious. And then I cast Bless. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> On Dimitrov. Ooh! Daka. Ooh! Okay, so did you. Perfect. Okay, one second. Let me pull it out. And little Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Little Jimmy. Oh, you were, you were being serious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he, Daka, he, he's a child. We need to look after him. He works on saving throws. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> okay. He, no, no, this is not, don't don't don't, uh, don't overthink this, Daka, because not, he is I'm a not, priest. I'm not, I'm not yep. I'm not, right. I'm, you guys are are that d little Jimmy is your charge, and if you had a priest with you, yeah, no, that's he that's obviously fine. would ignore the goblin. 
<laughs> or himself. <laughs> Look at all of the all of the ones that are not impure. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, that's fine. And uh, c can I can I see the can, how how much range does my telekinesis have? It should say. Uh, where 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 is it? It's, it's... Sixty yards. I think. Uh, it's under features. Ah, okay, I found it. Okay, thank you. So thirty feet. Ah, bonus. You can action, you, yeah, you can try you can try to telekinetically shove one creature you can see within thirty feet of you. The target must succeed a strength saving throw. Um, DC eight plus your proficiency. So your proficiency is a two. So DC ten, or move. I think it's five feet forward or backward from you. So th this guy, I assume I can't see him because he's around the outcropping. If you okay, so if you can see him, you can see him. So remember how the way that the that that I have to make the walls in this system, mm. I have to put them back a little bit. Ah. So if you can literally move okay. onto any of these squares, you can move onto those squares. You can okay. see through those squares. Well, then I'll um, I'm in range. Um, then I'll then I'll telekinetically, with the power of my mind, I I focus my thoughts and and reach out almost as though. A thousand, a million little arms are reaching out from my mind, invisible little arms that they shove the, the cultist. Wait, is it cultist? It's, yeah, there's a cultist. They shove the cultist in the, in the chest. Okay, so it's DC 10. So you telekinetically reach out, right? So, well, telekinetics wouldn't have like an actual, you would, there'd be no vision of it other than you. So, so everybody can look, you look over and you, you've never seen this before. <laughs> you've never seen this before out of Elliot, right? <laughs> Elliot's little head is doing this, right? <laughs> and a little, a little, <laughs> a little bead of blood comes down, comes down his nose, a la the fire starter, right? A little tiny bead of blood moves down his nose. As he focuses vehemently on something uh, ahead of you all, um, but fortunately, um, and uh, Elliot, you see him. He kind of takes he 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 reacts physically, but he does not move as a result of it. He kind of it's kind of like it jars him, you know, almost like somebody when a when like a three a four year old punches an adult, right? The the adult doesn't move, but he's there's still a there's still a hit there. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. And I, I end my turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I acted out of turn, but, you know. All right, Docker, you're up, sir. All right, I've moved up, and then uh, I guess... Uh... Oh, that's the Blood Abomination. Oh, God. He's a big boy, isn't he? Um... Oh, my God, what is that? And that's a Blood Priest behind him. Okay, so give me a, um, Doc, give me a perception roll real quick. Oh, God, yeah, thanks. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Uh, no, I mean, I meant thanks, because I, I, I wouldn't pass it, but maybe Decker can. <laughs> okay, so Four. you immediately, right, so your training has told you, especially being a ranged individual, to lock on to what you would perceive to be the the most important target not necessarily the strongest target but who would be the most important right who would the leader be you're you're looking for uh, markers of 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 uh rank you're looking you know just just training kicks in and you see this blood abomination this thing's big right this guy this this thing is about six foot four six foot five um in its mouth hanging out of its mouth is one of these sections from the blood worm mm. And that's where the, and it's just staring and it's, it's, it's chest is just heaving up and down. Like, I mean, it's, you know, like you, you remember like in, in the Wolverine, right? When they first went after he kills four or five guys in his chest, he's just going, you know, it's, it's, it's this, this disgustingly ugly thing. And, and we hearken back to our out of character experience from two episodes ago. This thing has its skin. It's so friggin' jacked with muscle, right? That its skin is its muscles are almost tearing through the skin they're not cuts they're literal tears Four. right from its shoulders from its pecs from you know even its jawline has small tears coming out of it and um and it's just staring at the opening and behind it is one of these priests it's not the one that escaped from y'all mm -hmm. but behind him is one of these priests as well mm -hmm. 
It's tough, isn't it? Because the priest, the priest could heal, right? That's the problem. The priest could heal, but the blood abomination seems more uh, more dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> um, Every healer is the most dangerous, in my opinion. Yeah, in in a way, right? Run out of just... power. No, not not. You know, it won't take too long. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna shoot. Plus, like I don't know, it's closer, it's bigger. I think I think shooting the the blood abomination is 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 kind of all right, isn't it? Yeah. We'll shoot him and see what happens. <clears throat> so we'll of course recklessly shoot. Now that we're blessed. So yeah, more like aimed shot, aimed shot, something like that. We can call it. Sorry, wait, what are you gonna do? Oh, the, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Reckless yes. attack. Boom. Let's try and shoot him in the head. All right, so you do strike. Four. Huge. Oh, huge. Okay, so you strike, and this arrow, this arrow goes right into his friggin' chest, right? But something... You watch this. This arrow, or this crossbow bolt, I should say. This crossbow bolt, when it hits, he has almost no reaction to it, and it doesn't sink in like you would normally... When you strike something with this thing, right... It usually you 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 know there's it sinks in a certain distance there's there's a there's a a, a comfort of uh, familiarity with how this bolt should react. This one does not go in nearly as far. In fact, the blood abomination grabs it, yanks it out, and just throws it onto the ground. Okay. It does take some damage, but much less than than you would usually throw. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna be like. Uh oh, <laughs> um, and then shoot at the guy behind him <laughs> uh, with. Did uh, he take half damage from that? He took half damage. Well, I, are we allowed to know that? <laughs> but he did take half damage. Yeah. <laughs> if you, oh, did you, oh, did it show it? It did show it. Yeah. That's yeah, he is. Um, that's yeah. Which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. That's like uh, that's that's that. I you assume, don't know how many hit points it has, so that really doesn't matter. But, but I assume that means it's resistant to piercing, right? Like I, I imagine it's out of character. That that's the that's the, that's what the mechanic does. <laughs> but I, I, from me, I'm just gonna go. Oh shit! I shot him. It didn't do anything. I'll shoot the guy behind him because <laughs> I can see him, right? Can't I? <laughs> yeah. You, you usually again, it would be a disadvantage shot. However, with your mm. skill set. You're able to pick out whatever piece of him, you know, he has an arm maybe sticking out from behind him, a leg, you know, between the abomination's legs, you know, you can see through there, whatever it may be. Glorious. I'll actually action surge this as well. Um, well action, action surge before the bonus action, right? To, to try and uh, to try and take him down with two hits. So um, use the action surge. Boom. And then uh, shoot the another 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 shot for the head. Try to shoot him in the head again. Boom. For the blood blood priest. Oh yeah, you haven't yep. targeted. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so that strikes. Nailed him. Seventeen damages, and then it's pretty good. It's a pretty good hit, isn't it? Pretty good hit on him, and then uh, we'll use the bonus action to shoot at him again. So that hits. Four. And uh, she'll do. Oh. 17 anyway because you didn't you yeah remember you have to reactivate oh, yeah, your... because it hit yeah so yeah. hold on one second no no hold on so you got plus, plus 10 17. is 17 again yeah 17 yeah i thought it was high <laughs> so yeah yeah 17 hit and 17 damage um oh we just healed him yeah hold on one second <laughs> i went I, I went to go click something else and it took off <laughs> All right, so... healing arrows what is this? <laughs> I could I could try to finish him off, couldn't I, with a with a superiority dice. The problem is tripping him isn't very good, probably. And menacing him isn't very good. 
and to be fair, now that the damage is put on, uh, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just leave him. I'll just leave him. I'll just do the two shots, and that's it. Okay, so, so the himself. blood priest at taking two amazingly beautiful shots, right? I mean, mm. let's be, you, you know, you yank out the, the, your um, your hand crossbow. These people have never seen a sharpshooter of your of your skill set before. They just never have, right? And he feels he's safe, somewhat safe behind that abomination. Um, but uh, now he knows there's absolutely nothing safe from your view itself. So he moves. And he is going to, let's see. He's going to cast Cure Wounds on the Abomination. As a... As a second level spell. I didn't even know. Say again? No, we're just curious where we move. If I can. Oh, he, okay, so he will have done it before he moved. Let me put him back up there. It's a cock dice. What happened there? <laughs> Reroll. We will. Is it cocked on your screen or did it show five? It it showed five, five on my Even five. if it cocks, it assumes that it will flatten out. Hang on, it's just we we, he, we just he took he took damage. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everything's backwards. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Dimitriov? Uh, let them take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to taking damage off. I'm not used to healing. All right, guys. Jeez. <laughs> all right. So and then I'm thinking with uh, with his um, with his bonus action, he is probably going to cast uh, his uh, spiritual weapon. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Two spells in one turn. Excuse me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Ellie to call that one. <laughs> Flargo, you're up, sir. Oh, was that a just testing moment, was it? No, oh, I, yeah, I was just messing with Elliot now that he's... <laughs> Flargo. Yeah, I'm thinking. Do, do some... Do some... Cool stuff. Acid rain. Do some cool, no, stuff. cool don't, stuff. Don't do acid splash, brother. Spunkier, <laughs> spunkier slots. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Uh, that big spell that you did that killed the big guy before? Oh, uh, chromatic orb or something. Yeah, chromatic orb. Whoa. But like, I it won't do enough to um, like. We can assume that will do ten damage, and that was what. Jimmy did. So. Is it AOE or is it like a target? No, the chromatic orb is a targeted one. Yeah, yeah, chromatic orb is a targeted attack. Do you want? Do you want to be able to breathe fire, Jimmy? Uh, I mean, I can. <laughs> like, would it be beneficial to you since you're out of dice? Is what I meant. <clears throat> or should I, I mean, just just do do what you believe is the way to win this? I have faith in you, champ. Believe in the heart of the dice, dude. I like how you guys are really thinking this combat out. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's a new piece on the board. <laughs> I mean, the, there are so many fucking, like, big guys in this one. Like, the Acolytes are tough, like, because hmm? they're heal. Like, and since we can't actually enter the room, it makes <laughs> things difficult. Um, so, Coven, um, Elliot is indeed telekinetic as his feet. 
I didn't see that you asked that question earlier in chat. No, it's my brain. He's got huge feet. <laughs> He's got <laughs> big brain. It's my brain, not my feet. What's that? <laughs> oh my god. No, it's just asleep. Oh, sleep. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> yes! Oh, no. More prisoners, my <laughs> favorite! Oh, no. <laughs> Oof, not many prisoners. Oh. No. No one. Wow, that's spectacularly bad from 5D8, isn't it? Okay, so, yes. um, sadly, nobody falls asleep from that. <laughs> oh, God. Doris. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But are they a little bit drowsy? Like, you know? They just add their teas, you know? Like, yeah, yeah oh. nobody falls asleep from that. Oh, nice. already full. Well, I did. I did have one good dice roll today, so that was fun. Yeah, you did better I, than yesterday. I, uh, already, <laughs> not yesterday. I, <laughs> I, I, I turn to Flargo and say, "Get behind me." Docker's already there. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, but like behind me, like make me the focal point, man. <laughs> Docker's already strategically I'm placed already, there. Um, Flargo, did, did you want to move, Flargo? I've already yeah. ended my turn. Uh, That's okay. You can move. You can move five foot, can't you? Let, no. let me, let me it be. It doesn't let me move since it's not my turn. All right, go ahead. I thought you could still move. Oh, you can't move because you have the, the, you have to select the. Oh. There you go. Uh, that's it, that's it. Glorious. It's like playing Tetris now, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only less fun. <laughs> so this fanatic charges in with two uh, two dagger attacks on uh, on Demetrio. I scream a war cry in his face as he comes. Come on in! <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit. Oh, it's not fucking like that. It. He, he has it. <laughs> he five it points on the first one. Of it. Uh, say five, five. Five. Yes, sir. On the first one. Second one misses. Come on in, son! <laughs> I spit my blood in his face. So this um, acolyte casts Bless. Scumbag acolyte. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, Man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This newly blessed blood cultist runs forward and attacks Demetrio. What does this ring do? Does this ring like give me like some Help. Just a ring, Dimmy. What does this ring do? You've been pegged. <laughs> it vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god. Oh my god. Seven points of damage. Oof. I should have had that rest, Jimmy. I mean, maybe, yeah. Uh... I'm literally useless. Alexa, stop. This one goes after um, Daedalquist. I'm sorry, after Flargo start. Did you prep an action though, Dimmy, right? Like, to attack them? Ah, uh, I didn't bother. Why, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Could have split one of them in half. Maybe. Oh, Flargo's fucked. Flargo's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Five points of damage. We're getting banged on. He's just AFK. Okay, little Jimmy, what? Um, any di any directions to little? Oh, is he uh, AFK? Yeah. Uh, yeah, little Jimmy, like come up about twenty foot so he can see little Jimmy. But you know, keep safe, keep safe. Yeah. He keeps safe. <laughs> keep safe, but you know, also let us see. <laughs> okay, at this point, the blood abomination just charges forward. He moves 45 feet a turn. Holy oh snap. God. And he takes um, he takes a slam attack 
<laughs> at uh, Dmitriov, two of them. So two big, bloody, ugly, just giant paws, almost like a bear that's fighting in the woods, come across in, in this just ridiculously just it's it's cro magnon like right we're just this it's this big ugly paw comes across him mm. oh. oh seven points of damage dimitriov He's oh damn, timmy's making dinner <laughs> no, i'm on it i'm on it i've got uh 25 and the second swipe misses you right over the top. Man, I'll get my ass kicked, boys. Mm. Hold on to Betriov. I'm holding on to you! <laughs> mm. He goes after Daka. Yeah. You haven't got a lot of damage, have we now, unfortunately? Mm. Imagine we had a rest. <laughs> I do have a potion of greater healing. 14 hit? Though. Uh, no. I think you're a 16, right? 16, yeah. yeah Alright, yeah. second dagger attack. Both dagger attacks miss you. So in his in his fervor to try to attack you um, through and around your your uh, your compatriots, he's unable to hit. Glorious. So how, how do these potions work? Do they count as my action? or are they To take different? a potion, it is an action, yes. Oh. It's a lot of healing. Well... Potentially a lot of, quite a bit of healing. But that's all I can do. I can just do an action. I can't do anything else. Yeah, I'll just take the potion. And oh, hang on. It's not your goal yet. Oh, the acolyte. Yeah. yeah. This um, blood uh, blood acolyte is going to heal the blood priest. <laughs> of course he is. Fuck. Keep faith, brothers. We shall be victorious once again on this day. I hope you've got a secret spell you haven't told us about. <laughs> <You're the norm. laughs> because it's looking pretty terrible right now. I will call down the power and the fury of the chief engineer. I will smite all of our enemies before us. with. Alright, Dimitriov, you are up, sir. Yeah, I'm just going to take my potion. You can still do bonus action, right? I don't have any. Uh... He may definitely do a bonus Got action if, uh, if he has Got one to one take. Cockpit. Yeah, Hancock. So 13 points are restored to you. No, the Hancock is a uh, uh, dice, and I don't have any. Oh, the superiority uh... dice. Uh... Uh, that's mm. my yeah, the Hancock is is a superiority die because it's a quick toss. Mm. I I see Dimitrov is struggling in front oh, of hang me. Hang on, hang on. How many points was that? Oh, it was 13 points. 13 points. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, um, in regards to your actions with potions also, you may use your own action to give another person a potion as well. Mm. Just so you understand. So it's it's kind of a little meta, but it's like, you know, you kind of hand over or, you know, th th that is an option. So also, if somebody was to fall in combat, you could then give them your potion to get them back up and in. So that is part of that. I wanted to make sure that now that we're into potion games. Kill as many as you can, guys. I'll just, I've got one more potion. Just kill them. <laughs> so when you say give another person your potion, you, you don't mean put it in their possession. You mean force it down their throat. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Yeah, like I said, so here's the thing, right? So you're technically allowed to give somebody a potion if they're down on the ground, right? Right. So there, I don't know if there really is a, um, like a ruling on, well, you can't do it to somebody who's sure. conscious. But I would assume that if you can do one, you can do the other. It's a little meta, it's a little bit, but who cares, right? If you want to take your action to give your potion to another person, then I'll consider that like a combined action type deal. Fair. Uh, right then. Well, I see Dimitriov beset on all sides uh, by enemies, including this horrible, ferocious, bloody, teared monstrosity that's absolutely slamming him. He's just had to chug his potion. He's, he's not even attacking back. He's just defending himself right now. So, I... <laughs> just like this. <laughs> I, 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 he, 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 he's curled over, hunched over, defending himself. I grasp him this time by his shoulders because I actually reach them both shoulders firmly. <laughs> and I cast... Hang on, let me find the right spell. I cast Warding Bond. 
Uh, this spell... That's concentration, isn't it? No, no. Isn't it? No, it just needs rings. Oh, it needs rings! Oh, rings! Oh, 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 yes. God, what is this, this spell wards a woolen creature you, know. you touch and creates a mystic connection between you and the target until the spell ends. When the, while, while the target is in 60 feet, it gains a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws and has resistance to all damage. Also, each time it takes damage, you take the same uh, amount of damage. What? No, no, no. Cancel the spell. <laughs> no, no, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant, Elliot. That's the, brilliant. The spell ends if you drop to zero hit points or if you're the target within separated more than six feet. Uh, that's not bad at all, is it? That isn't what I've read. There we go. So, uh, uh, so yeah, there we go. I cast that on, on Dimitriov. Uh, right. There's my bonus action. Mm, 45 feet, man. Um, hmm. So what? I don't take damage, but you take the damage no, that no. I take. No, no. You 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 get resistance to damage and extra AC, but then we both take the damage that you take. Yes, yeah, so you split the damage that you take essentially. Um. Well, you don't split it. Well, I mean essentially, right? Because if you get resistance, then you're kind of splitting it. Yeah, that's true. But that's you're true. also slightly less likely to take damage, right? Because yes. of the AC. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hang on a second. So it says it has resistance to all damage, but what does that actually mean? You take half damage for anything that hits you. But Elliot oh. absorbs the other half. Uh, okay. So if something hits you for two hit points, you take one, Elliot takes one. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, I, I guess that's it. I don't, I don't really want to push anybody with my mind. Uh, because I don't, I don't want them going after little Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're not doing much damage here, though. That's it. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you're 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 not going to take any damage now, right? Though you're basically invincible at this point. So now, now you can start. Now you can start kicking the kicking the hell out of them. Hmm. Daka's got a lot of decisions to make here. Yeah, yeah. We just got to shoot this guy right in front of me. Um, that's because I don't. I don't want to get hurt. That's the most important thing. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, it is. Preservation. <laughs> oh, baby. It is. Um, okay, so we've got to do a good shot. A good shot thing. There we go. And... Remember, you can pull that down to your hot bar too, Jim, so that way you're not having to search oh, into your sheet every yeah, time. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll so do you that. can you can pull that down, and you can pull your hand crossbow down to your hot bar, and then you can just click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Yeah, yeah. I've got I've got the uh, I've got that on the hot bar, the other one, but I'm gonna put the attacks on as well. Ah, yes. Fantastic. Right. I like a lot in the uh, chat. Go into the well once too often. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's let's shoot this guy right close to me. Boom. Oh, miss. I All right, so use... the first shot misses. Well, I'm going to use precision attack. Boom. <laughs> to no. still miss. And you still miss, yes. He's 13, I knew he was 13. Oh, God, diced. Um, and then, uh, right, and then bonus action, try and shoot him again. Are you you're sharpshooting again? Yep. Excellent shot, okay, perfect, thank you. Another miss. And then that's that's too much to try and hit. So, um, yep, that's my turn. An amazing turn. That's a me level turn, man. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Zero damage. Yep. Jesus Christ, Jimmy! Of all the turns to come up with. <laughs> yep. Of yep, all the pretty turns. Good. <laughs> pretty good. We're all gonna die. I mean, it's not looking good, is it? It's alright. It's alright. Okay, so this priest is gonna is gonna cast his his uh, spiritual weapon. <laughs> yeah, they only got three healers and one super tank, uh, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, that I can't hurt. <laughs> yeah, we can't the we can't attack the healers either, so that's also good. Yep. So it can be, let's see, you can you can move. So as a bonus action to your turn, how far is it from you that you can cast it to? 60 feet. 60 feet from you, okay. 
but it's got to see it. So we'll put it here. And then it can move 20 feet. It, it moves it, it moves on its next turn, right, Elliot? Um, yes, because as a bonus action, I can move it up to 20. So that's his turn. Yeah. yeah. All right, Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. Uh, well, I think uh, we can only do uh, one thing. Activate Dragon's Breath on myself. Okay, one second, let me add this spell to you. All right, then, it's now in your cantrips. Uh, if I move, disengage and move here, can I then attack all these four? Okay, so when you lay down your template, any square that is inside that cone gets affected. So now this is the meta part of the game, right? So you can, the, the, when you place the beginning of the triangle, so basically that little square with that yeah, explosion in it. Yeah, don't click anything. Don't click it though, Dadle. Don't click it. You have to control uh -huh. and mouse before you click. That's the important thing. So you, you put that in a square next to you in the center of that square. When you go to put that down, if you hold down your left click, I believe you'll be able to rotate it. No, it, no, it's because if you click, it goes. If you click, it goes. You've got to control. That's okay. Just hold on one sec. Mm. Got damn knew, cool animation. <laughs> I knew Flavel Snap was one of them all along. <laughs> Ever since he found that chapter. Yeah, it's control <laughs> and mouse wheel. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Control and mouse wheel. Mm. Okay, so do you see how you place the, the box on top of you? You don't do that. What? I don't? No, you, that's what I said. That's why I wanted you to listen. You place it in a box next to you because you control your box. When you cast a spell that emanates from you, similar to a weapon attack, you start it in the box next to you. So, angle it so I don't breathe a dimming. He, he's no, fine. so what are you trying to so what are you trying to hit here? You're trying to hit these these four. Everyone, yeah, these okay. four, but not dimming. Hmm. Can you stun fair? Yeah, but I want to be as close to you and like. Doesn't matter way. really where he where he stands, right? Because he can still. It does, put it. Yeah, so, okay, it, it really, so it really this. Does still so okay, so one. this. Hold on, hold on. You're good. Yeah. You're good. If you you so decide where you want to stand. Quit moving around. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. I stand here. Make a decision. Okay, perfect. Okay, so do you see how I laid out that triangle? I didn't see how you did it. I saw well, that. Okay, okay. Do you see the triangle, Dato? Yes. Okay, great. Beautiful. So now, there are gray squares underneath that triangle. You might not be able to see that clear because yeah, of all I the bright things. Them. I can trace them. Okay, yeah. That, that is not what it hits. All right. That's just the template. It will hit anything that a portion of this triangle, or I'm sorry, this... Uh, this cone touches. Yeah, right, so right enough. here, you're going to get damage on all five yeah, I, of them. Yeah, yeah. Four. But all five? Yeah, right. So I get All five because that right corner, well. do you see uh, how it's touching the nice. circle? That's that's why I wanted you to see this. Yeah, all right. Cool. All right, so roll your damage, please. Please. Roll another 17, Daryl. <laughs> All right, good, so I'm going to start good. doing the uh, the um, the dexterity be checks. Worse. Better than average. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, fails on that one. So that's the blood cultist. Is that not concentration? Is he the guy that cast? No, no the priests and the um, and the acolytes uh, are the ones. They're all out of sight, <laughs> invincible. <laughs> But this is what I do well, right? The AoEs, like... Mm. Yeah, this is a pretty good AoE. Right now. Yeah, they bundle up pretty well for us. Okay, so that one makes his, uh, his save, so it's seven, seven points of damage to him? Mm, if I'd thought of that, maybe I should have done, like, two normal attacks to, like, just wear them Oof. down. Seven points of damage to him? He heals. <laughs> he yeah. heals himself. Alan breathes in the poison and feels empowered by it. <laughs> <laughs> and seven full points because this is magical damage to him. Oh, you got a chamber or whatever that thing's called. A what? Whatever Daedal's blowy up his spell is. That's his dragon's breath. Okay, so that's so. There's your um. That was your move, and then your attack, Daedal. Any um, bonus? No, the bonus action was activating the Dragon's Breath. Okay. So giving that to me. So this Blood Fanatic swings at uh, Dimitriov. The one thing I don't like is I have to I have to untarget somebody else. Hold on. All right, there we go. Two attacks. Oh, that's okay. Ah, oh. wait. Seven. Yep, he's a seventeen on the dot. Yeah. Oh, so it does hit him. So, two points of damage to Dimitrov, two points of damage to Elliot. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Once again, Elliot from his nose, right? A little a little blood spurtle <laughs> comes down his nose. Second attack misses. How come he attacks twice? Because he's got multi-attack with his dagger. Uh... This acolyte moves forward. This cultist with a scimitar attacks Dimi, Dimitriov. Misses. This blood cultist goes over and swings at uh, Daedal, at uh, Flargo Snorp. One attack with a scimitar. Oof. Oof. Seven <laughs> points of damage. <sighs> little Jimmy's up. Oh. Little Jimmy's feeling a little. Uh, we're gonna have little Jimmy here because he's just seen uh, this blood uh, blood abomination come around the corner. He's seen uh, Dim uh, Dimitriov take some pretty severe beatings. He's now seen Daka miss twice in a row. Mm. He's questioning his life choices as to whether or not Daka is the right man to be following here. <laughs> it should be completely en enchanted by my. You know, you know what? I'm not going to. If he's he's not he's not going to be shaken yet. This is the first time he's ever seen this. Jim, Jimmy is going to be. He's holding that little torch. He's 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 got pure faith and he yelled that Daka, you gotta kill that motherfucker. <laughs> no, I meant he should be completely enchanted by my ability to breathe fire. Yeah, to be fair, he does, the, he does the like that actually. Yeah, yeah. All right, then the abomination. Now the abomination um, takes another cuff at uh, Dimitriov. Stand strong, Dimitriov. <laughs> I'm like, let's have it. <laughs> Uh, 
four damage to each of you. Second slam. Oh my god, this guy. Six mm. damage to each of you. I just chug a potion again, maybe. Mm, this blood is... fanatic again swings at Daka. He's just going to keep doing it, isn't he? Like, healing's pretty crap. <laughs> really. Wow. Oh, I just got a tank. Excuse You've me? just got hit. You've just got hit, Daka. I've just got a tank. You, not your healing. I mean, your healing is amazing, but for Demi to self-heal is, like, inefficient. Yeah, like, the... the, the, well, the one hit. One hit. We need DPS, don't we, at the end of the Two day. misses? No, yeah, and I'm not the DPS. Yeah, yeah. Thing. You're the DPS, Daka. Well, maybe we should have had more than one DPS, that's all I'm saying. No, maybe you I should actually DPS. As well. DPS. <laughs> all right, Dimitriov, my friend, you are up, sir. I am going to chug my last potion. That's all I can do, really. Can't you actually swing at the guy in front of you? Nah, mate, I'm... I'm He's more ready. worried about going down, which is not necessarily a bad idea, because all I these guys need, are banging I on need, him. Yeah, I need to tank. Right, so 13, so that's... Yeah, plus 13. 39, right. Okay. I mean, you... if you think about it, man, he's doing well. I mean, he's not he's not doing any damage, but he's keeping... Again, Daka doesn't miss that often, right? And Daedal, you've done a phenomenal job of, of, of blitz blitzing four of them. The fifth one, the, 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 um, the Abomination, he's going to be tough no matter what. Yeah. I just got a tank, mate. You need to make sure Elliot's all right, and you guys have got to do the damage. Like, I I don't do a ton of damage anyway, so I'll I'll, I'll stay here. Like they can't move into Elliot, like past past us now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We've, we've got tackle zones all, all yeah. <laughs> across the pitch. <laughs> tackle zones established. <laughs> just stand, stand firm, hit. brother. I say. Deca, I need you. <laughs> I mean, you could go back one, Elliot, couldn't you? Because they could probably move through their friend to get past. No, no, they can't move through. They people, can't can move they? through. This is it Battle yeah. Brothers? <laughs> stand, yeah, it's Battle stand, Brothers, isn't it? Stand, stand firm, brother, I, I say to Dimitriov, and move move away to to, to flog us up, and then force a... I, I grab him by the hat, I pull his hat back, <laughs> and, I, and I force a, a potion down his throat. <laughs> I, I try to hold my breath so I can <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> So we've and seen, we've seen Elliot has pinned Dimitriov. <laughs> 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 So, so how do I do this then mechanically? So just just left click on the potion and then it'll come up, it'll say heal. And then um, uh, just click the healing on it. If there's any bone, I don't know if this will bonus out. It might bonus out for you. But because we'll, we'll, it's any healing that you do. If it bonuses, we just take the regular dice roll. This won't apply to me, will it? it no. Will, no, okay. No, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't apply directly. It will. Okay, cool. Yeah, so ignore the um, plus four, plus two. It's ten. So, so ten, ten points of healing. On who? Ten points Daedal, of healing. Uh, on Daedalquist. Oh, yeah. On, uh, the Flagel guy Smart. who I've just forced the potion <laughs> down his <laughs> throat, dude. Which guy do you think? All right, so. I'm holding his breath so I do not breathe toxic <laughs> right in Elliot's <laughs> face. That's my bonus action. Did you, did you add your healing there, uh, Flagel? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Right, Daka, this is where we need you to not actually spread the damage, right? Yeah, just any one bonus one. action, Elliot. Oh yeah, as my bonus. Wait, what's happened here? As my as my bonus action, I cast spiritual weapon. It's it's made a square, but I can't see the weapon. I've got to pull it out. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitriov oh, just glances at Daka and says, "I'm so tired, Daka." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> well, just keep getting your fast. You just keep getting your face smashed in by this horrendous <laughs> blood abomination. <laughs> and the cog bonks him on the noggin. Ooh, oh, he bonks him on the noggin. Who, wait, who is he attacking? Uh, the 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 one next to Flagel Snap. I I targeted him. The blood cultist. The blood cultist. Okay, you rolled it. Yep, that hits. Him. It's a heavy bonk. It's a bit dramatically heavy bonk. He's probably dead. And that blood cultist yes. crumples down to the ground. Oh, thank God. Yes. Daka, 
I need you, brother. <laughs> well, dead before you on the ground. I've the first, the first individual. Let's just hope that uh, the, that these, this this blood priest can't raise from the dead, right? <laughs> I've still got to do like uh, like heavy damage, right? I just have to because it's. it's You're not the DPS. Yes, yes, you did so zero damage in your last turn. Yes. Oh, do, wow, do, do not down, fight dude. your brothers. You've like, got a double-handed axe, you know. <laughs> right. Okay, so who are you? Who are you attacking? I've targeted him. The yellow okay, injured. I one. want to make sure, just because you attacked the other one last round. So. Yeah. No, we're, switch we're switching now. We're hitting the further away one. Try to take the heat off Dimitrov. Can't you, can't you heat, hit the healers? I mean, the problem is they're both uninjured, so I'm just not going to kill them in one round, probably. Am yeah, I? kill. We need to kill, kill, kill. They, they were like, they, what, who are they going to heal when they're dead? You know? Yeah, they, they do no damage, right? Without their stupid, like they, they look good with their maces, but they don't do a lot of damage with them. Yeah, we, those we are need... clubs, Jim. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I know the clubs, but they look like maces. Oh, are you, are you talking about the chocolatey biscuits? They, these look like maces. <laughs> these look like maces. I mean, no, honestly, they do look the, like the picture that. is a mace. Yeah, that's a flanged mace right there, and you would expect yeah. to do more than D4, but it's actually a club. So they're not actually as as dangerous as they look. Provided these guys are armed like the last ones, though, you know. I mean. Okay. Yeah. True. 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 Can I have a perception check to see to see how they if they're armed the same as the previous guy? Remarkably, Daki, you see the same exact club that the last one was oh, wow, wearing. Wow! Right. It's almost as if they're mass produced. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I mean, that's a good point, actually. Like the, these guys could just fight and then could try and take out one of the healers, but I'd have to hit him twice and do pretty good damage. Um. Whereas I might be able to kill this guy with one shot. Yeah, because really the thing is, like, the, my template hits all of this, these, right? So that's yeah, why. true. That's a good point Daka. as well. Yeah. Daka, remember what I said about spreading your shots. <laughs> yeah, but he's spreading his damage again, right? So yeah, it's a. There's actually a. There's actually. It's actually good to spread my damage if. No, Daedal it's can not. Just no, if Dadel can finish them off, it is because he's got one in the yellow, uh, right? And one in the green. Yeah, but then, so... but then you could just roll like three misses in a row, you know. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for this. Let's let's aim for the the healer guy. Let's spread damage oh, as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs> let's focus fire, boys. Everybody but me. Well, no, like it, Daedal's got an AOE, right? Daedal has an AOE. Oh at my god, I love it. So he's I mean, half what killed. Do, what, you, what you could do, like, is hit like. Uh, uh, one each of these two. Um, yes, and then maybe you kill them both. I'm guaranteed to kill both. Yeah, yeah, and then it's more then it's more reliable, right? Because then I don't yeah. use the sharpshooter. How do I deactivate sharpshooter? Do it again. Did it pull it? I think yeah, it did it pull it off of you? Okay, yeah. Like that way we're spreading damage, but we're not spreading across every enemy. On the oh, I could have hit with a minus five look. <laughs> oh, a 30, 30, baby. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Love that blast, Elliot. All right, damage, please. Six. All right, so first blood, uh, the one closer to you, which. So so similar to uh, Flargal Snarp, you can't quite decide who to aim at. <laughs> Right, now you aimed at three different individuals before actually shooting. Yep, now we're going to shoot the guy behind him as well. And again, just a normal shot. Oh, he's got no faith in his in his big boy moves, huh? I missed, last, I missed twice. Oh, fuck. Wow, and, the, and rolls are critical. Imagine what that could have done. Make yeah. sure you hit critical for damage, of course. Yep. Seven. Could have killed both of them myself, probably. Yeah. Would have probably killed that healer actually if if I did two like that would have been a lot wouldn't it that would have been like what thirteen thirty three would have probably just killed him straight up but never mind okay so that's two so that's your your attack and your bonus action correct yep yeah that's me doing I'm not gonna move at all am I? it can't get through there. So it's going to kind of just get behind them. Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> and what will the Blood Priest do this time? Let's see. He's going to hold his action. 
He's not going to do anything else this turn. Mm. Flargo, sir, you're up. Yeah. Um, okay, so remember when you when you lay your template, make sure you put it a little I further out. Then... I, don't, I don't need to lay the template, right? We know it hits all of them. Yeah, but you can still yeah, you try could... and learn how to do it, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you could probably actually learn how to do this. Um, and then hold down control when you before you um, let go with your, your uh, mouse button, and then you can swing it around. Okay. Uh, well, there goes uh, Daka and Dmitriov. <laughs> it, it, I, I didn't. You have to aim it first, Dadley. You have to aim it before you, before you drop it. Okay, so roll for damage, please. Roll high. I love you, Dadle. Didn't roll high. Might get him anyway. What did I say, Daka? <laughs> I mean, don't trust me to roll dice. I rolled above average once. This, this Is this going to kill somebody? Surely the near death guy. No. Maybe not the near death guy. No, it's still mm -hmm. half damage. Right? Well, he still no, he still takes half. This is a this is not a. I mean, even though a twenty is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised oh, there's not some going like critical saves. Cancel all damage, kind of thing. Mm. Well, there's critical, like, um, like rolls. Who's for checks. You on? <laughs> <laughs> I've just commented on the game mechanics. <laughs> okay, so that that uh, cultist drops dead. Third one saves. Blood abomination. Thirteen misses, so seven damage to him. What else, Flargo? Uh, one, two. No, I need to stay here. Actually, uh, so yeah, I'm done. So. Blood Fanatic swings at Dimitriov. Two dagger strikes. First one's a miss. Second one's a hit. For uh, one point of damage each. Seven instead of twenty-seven. I'm sorry. Say again. I just took too much health off. <laughs> oh, okay. So this blood acolyte moves in behind the abomination and heals him. <laughs> How do I take things off my uh, hot bar? By the way, please. I think you can just drag them off of the yeah, hot bar. No, you just right, right click and then just delete macro. Ah, right, thank you. All right, little Jimmy's up. He's going to maintain his position. Yeah, yeah. Blood Abomination is up. So Blood Abomination looks directly at Dimitriov, proceeds to open up this giant maw of a mouth and vomits blood all over him. So this can't cause a turnover, right? Hey! <laughs> Can hit himself and uh, kill him, accidentally kill himself. And misses him. So as he, in his in his fury and vigor to throw, I mean, he just as he he lays his head back and just starts, you know, blood starts flying and and just, I mean, parts of the worm are coming out and 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 it just it, he's so. Aggressive that he just misses Dimitriov entirely. And I just stare at him and give out another war cry. Ah! Flip, flip him off. <laughs> Attacking Daka, two dagger strikes. Mm. Fine. Misses with his first. Fine. 
misses with his second. Daka's living on a prayer right now, baby. Four. You got like no damage, Jim. Like you're fine. Hmm. It's good. Isn't it? The only damage is from uh, is from little Jimmy singeing my ass. <laughs> <laughs> is it me or is it the other blood? No, this blood acolyte's going to move forward and heal the um, the cultist in front of him. Oh. For nine points of healing damage, or nine points of healing, healing. Mm. All right, Dimitriov, you are up, my friend. So, with the channeled fury within, I'm gonna raise my axe and with a swipe of glory and desperation, I am gonna cast my aspersions <laughs> and I'm gonna try and decapitate this fanatic. 18 does strike. And I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna peek your mic. What? Oh my yeah, god. Oh, I can reroll that because I've got. Yes, Dad, pad you can reroll. Good. So, so um, to... if damage is gone, just roll a d12. It's at the bottom there. No, 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 no. I got fighting style here. This is it. This is it. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, so it, I... no, it won't. It won't reload it. So what? That's a. Hang on, that's a d12. So the d12 is the four, or the fifth one from the left. There you go. And then we have to we add three to that. So nine points. So this blood cultist drops dead. And that's three yeah. three cultists lay before you on the ground now. Elliot the Nom. Oh, maybe not. Is there anything else? All right, Elliot the Nom. Elliot's been. He's been he's been uh, carefully perusing his character sheet for the last round. I see him working the cogs <laughs> vigorously, trying to figure out what to do next. I, I'm I'm concerned by all of the blood and the cultists and the blood monsters, etc. Blood priests, black lights, blood fanatics. But my my tanks are pretty empty. You know, all the all the spells have gone. Uh, there's not not much left. Um, so, with the powers of my mind, I focus on. Oh, no, it doesn't even make any sense to do the, the Tower of Pieces thing anyway. Um, I'll cast Sacred Flame. Um, on the blood spot. No, what, what? Gaming, gaming. Can I, can I, can I, can I uh, say a rule of D&D &D for Eliod out of character? <laughs> a rule of D&D? &D? There's rules? Yeah. yeah, there's rules, yeah. Of course you may. Um, so for your action, you can do like a dodge. So you like, I don't know what dodge does. Does it add to your AC or something? If you do a dodge action, that like you know that helps you survive a bit. So doing the dodge action makes a um, an attack. It's an any attack that has an attack roll, they would roll at disadvantage, but it takes your action. Yeah. So that's one of the things you can do, and if you don't want to cast a spell, and the other thing you can do is help, and if you help. Um, somebody attack somebody it like if you're within a five foot of them so like basically adjacent to them on the board you can give somebody advantage when they attack them so that could be oh. a thing you could do as well how on earth do i do that well i was just saying that's something you could do yeah no fair but like I'm well, I'm gonna hold your crossbow for you. <laughs> no, no, like you distract them, right? You, di you distract them. So, like, if okay, you, you, okay. it's the target, right? So, if you basically you could run up next to the, the next to the blood acolyte, right? And then you distracting him would give me advantage on the attack against him. I'm not saying that that's what you should do, but oh. you could do that as like what, as so a health to, action. To help, I have to be in contact with the target. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I thought you meant in contact with the 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 player doing the fighting. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, all right, fair enough. You could hold your crossbow. <laughs> you could hold my crossbow for me. Rest it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cast Sacred Flame on the big bloody man, the blood abomination. Mm. Ooh, big dice. Easy. Never going to be saved in a million years. Oh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay, so it takes half damage, so it takes four. 
Uh, no. It's not a half damage? No. No, they get nothing, no. Yeah, nothing. Oh, you're correct, thank you. I'm used to Daedal and his half damages. Yep. So I'll, uh, I'll shoot at this guy, but uh, without advantage. <laughs> right, Doc, so what are you what are you doing here, brother? Oh, shit, I forgot my uh, cloak. Oh, yeah, bonus action. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah Elliot, action. go ahead and... Yep, I'm feel at, free. I'm, I'm allowed, yeah, okay. I knew I knew there was something there with the bonus action. Um, well, I just... Um, well, I, could, I can move it, can't I? Yeah, I don't have to take disengagement. I don't have to take attack. No, no, it's it's an inanimate op. It doesn't take damage, anything like that. It can move as it will, uh, twenty feet around. So well. Uh, oh, but then your your. Okay, now that's so that you can't do. Ah, because I can't move through Dimitriov and Daka. Exactly. Okay, okay. Uh. So now you could be on top of a dead body. Can I be on top of the other one? <laughs> no, <laughs> that is so... occupying that space. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so. Uh... Yeah, I'll just move in here then, I guess. Um, and attack the... Yep, uh, there you go. You can do stuff. that. Attack the Acolyte, yeah? Uh, whatever that guy is. Fanatic. Okay. Uh, 14... Uh, the, the, okay, what did you strike at? The Fanatic. Thank you. Okay, so you rolled... Yeah, that hits... And then I'm done. All right, now it's Daka. Okay. Um, you have to reactivate your reckless shot, Daka. Yep. I if will, you're going to use it. I will recklessly, well, not recklessly, targetedly shoot at this uh, this blood acolyte here who I have targeted. And see if I can hit him. I don't think that's going to hit, is it? That does not hit. Um... How many have I got left? I've got two, so I could make it hit. And then I could trip him, and then I could go and attack him. Ah, oh, fuck it, I won't bother. I'll just miss him then, eh? And then, um... God, man, you're having rough dice, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm trying, but it's not... I mean, it's you're even blessed. <laughs> yep. So much for that boy looking, looking for Dimitriov. <laughs> yeah, I, I think helping. I mean, I, I did as much as I could say to try and get help. Um, I'm helping. Yeah, help help would have really helped. But um, I don't know. I don't know what I can do. I... This is how I felt last week. I like Rick Baseman in chat. <laughs> throw your crossbow at him. <laughs> throw, I could throw my crossbow at him. Like, hitting him again isn't going to do anything because I was going to healed anyway. So, like, it's just... I guess I've got to just spunk all my dice this this turn, then, eh? Right, so I'll um, I will, because I I know he's like gonna be better than the other guys, right? Like I know I know I should do this before you say whether it hits or not, but you like you said it pretty quickly, um, but like I I pretty much knew thirteen was gonna miss, so I I don't view this as meta gaming if you'll let me do it. <laughs> What's that? Because <laughs> uh, I could do precise attack, right? But I could do precision attack because after I've yeah, the no, 13, that's not meta gaming. You 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 have the right on a precision attack. To make the decision after your to hit die roll. Yeah. So I'll, I'll proceed. Yeah, that is your, that's your, that's not metagaming. That's, that's written into it. You're, that's, you may do that. Absolutely. So we'll precision attack. And 14 you still miss. 14 still misses. Wonderful. So completely spunk away a dice. Brilliant. Um, that's your second one that you've rolled on a precision attack, too. Yeah. yeah. And I only did like a two, I think, on the other one. I don't know what I need on this, but not much. Um, right, I guess I'll shoot the guy who's in front because that's, yeah. What, what's this guy? Uh, but then he's kind of irrelevant, isn't he? Yeah, well, I'll still shoot that guy again with a bonus action. Um, Are you using your um, your reckless attack? Yeah, yeah, we're reckless again. All right, let's hope for some better dice here. Let's see him. <laughs> okay, that hits. Good. Right. I can't see what you could be doing if you were hitting, brother. I know, yep, yep. 
Yep. I mean, that's the, that's why it's worth doing in the reckless attack when you hit sh shoot twice. Well, especially yes. when your blast is like, no, he's just he just. Yeah, He's just had two shit dice on his precision five, dice. Right? Yeah, I mean, like, re see, the ideal thing would have been Elliot helps, right? So I get advantage on the first one, I trip him, then I move forward, and then hit him with, like, you know, well... Okay, so, hold on, oh, so, Daka, so, just, just so we that understand something. <laughs> you roll a 1d20, plus 4, plus 2, plus 2, plus, plus 1d4, and mm. you want Elliot to still help you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I had it. That's why I basically had it. Jesus okay. Christ, man. Well, I missed, didn't I? And I used Why don't you just have all three of the others line up around him and, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he added a 1d8 and still missed. Yeah. All right, so the Blood Priest is still going to stay where he is. He's he's happy where he is back there. And his, um, his uh, weapon is going to attack Daedal. Let me see what his does damage at. It is... Where are you? Spiritual weapon. Okay, so his does 1d8 plus spellcasting modifier. His spellcasting modifier is charisma, so 1d8 plus 3. So 8 points of damage to Daedal. Alright, Flargle Snart, my friend. You are up again, sir. I think we know what's coming. Oh, baby. Look at this metagaming. <laughs> I love it. He did it! He did Yay. it! He did it! <laughs> Dado, you did it, brother! <laughs> I mean, I still All right, nine points of damage. I still didn't even roll the average, so <laughs> might get might get this guy though. Maybe get the the first guy. Okay, no, so no. five <laughs> points to him. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> Jack will can't roll below the seventy-five <laughs> percentile on any single <laughs> dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. Where's my 20s when I'm attacking? Dude, you, you're rolling then every single fucking time. <laughs> Not when I'm attacking, no, man. I want those when I'm attacking. Oh, man. Well, hey. Nine. Glorious. Very nice, Flargle. His AOE is sick, man. He's pumping. He's pumping him full of damage. It's just Doc can't can finish him off. Again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yep. You can separate your move like that. Absolutely. Well, I'm actually gonna stay next to Eliod. Next to Eliod, the gnome. The gnome. Oh, sorry, enter. No, I just wanted, that's it, you're good? Okay. He swings at Dimitrov again. Yeah, because Nimble Escape is a uh, bonus action. Dimitrov takes four points from the first dagger strike. Well, two, uh, two, two, two. I'm sorry, thank you. Two and two, I apologize. Two and two. I hope you're okay, Tom. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, and, and, and seriously fumbles that one. So he drops his uh, his dagger on the ground. He is now unarmed. Oh, he, st he stabs the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're getting he, low he on spells here, boys. Face. He, he got the blood in his face from the stupid 
big blood bl blooder. Uh, so he swings wildly about him, cutting the throat of the. <laughs> so this this blood acolyte is going to cast. He's going to cast Sacred Flame at um, at uh, Flargo Snarp. Sorry, what? He's going to do what? Sacred Flame. Can I interrupt that in any way? How? I'm just asking. Like, oh, no, no. Um, that's what I'm, I'm not sure if there was something that you had an ability that you think you can use. Um, no, it's just a simple... If you pass a DC 12 dexterity check, then you don't take the damage. Same as Eliod, isn't it? So you will, there you go. So you will, you click the saving throw, DC 12 in the box. So you take three points of damage. Surprise. <laughs> oh, God. One All right, so round shit, five starts yeah, with Jim. Is this, uh, does, uh, do we need to take a quick break, boys, and use restrooms, fill glasses, and all that good stuff? We've been going for just over two hours. Yeah, it's not Actually, we've been going... Is... Say again? It's not... Oh, I don't know. Do, do you need to take a break at some point? No, no I'm good. I'm, I'm, I am good. I just want to make sure if we have to go... To, I've got to use the restroom, so... Yeah, yeah, we can have a little break. I could get another let's, cup of let's tea. Let's take a little break. When we come back, we've got little Jimmy's uh, action straight into the abomination where he kills Dimitriov. Yeah, Rick, that um, uh, goblin is tanking a little bit there. Um, hold on, there was a question here earlier by Randy. Randy, no, so why aren't they sleeping? Because um, Dato rolled very low on his sleep dice and actually um, rolled under the hit point totals of every one of the uh, the opponents. So that's why his sleep spell did nothing um, when he, at the outset of the um, fight, tried to sleep them. Our party is not used to this, though. This is the first time where Doc has been missing. Dimitriev's been tanking like crazy. They're fighting their first uh, monster with a uh, with some type of a resistance. They've been uh, they've been a little overly uh, they've been overly confident. I think. I think. I think that comment of uh, gone to the well one time too many is uh, is actually quite true. Dado's had, um, I would give Dado middle of the road dice. There's, you can't, everybody talks about dice and Blood Bowl, right? And, and oh, this and the average that. Yeah. There's no such thing as average dice because you throw dice every time, right? 
So when I, I always kind of, I know that there are odds to th when you throw three six-sided dice in a row, not 3d6, but a six followed by a six followed by a six-sided die, and what your odds are to roll a four plus, a four plus, and a four plus. But in reality, your odds are 50%, 50%, 50%. Right? Because every die is in itself a percentage to roll. So it's it's very interesting when, when you start start looking at stuff like that because there are odds and, and there are statisticians and it is a proven fact that you can, you know, percentageize that stuff out. So, Dimitriov, how are you doing, fine sir? Uh, enjoying my potions, mate. I'm, I'm just chugging, <laughs> my, now, chugging my potion. Now, do you remember when, uh, when Elliot was a little bit upset when you guys got those free potions from uh, the country wizard there? He was a little bit worried about being... Uh, <laughs> I mean, what else can I do, like Jimmy? Like, I love the fact that Jimmy's moaning at me about not hitting people, and I'm like, I'm gonna die, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. Like, just like, what else is there to do except chug potions? So. It's a good thing you guys had him. Now that I was talking about it, you know, your dice up until this combat have been very good. What? What? No, Everybody's. Dadles. I mean, the what parties. Dadles. No, no, I mean the whole parties, right? You've been able to dispatch your enemies pretty solidly, right? I mean, let's be honest. This is it's, the first time that all of you have taken it, a lot of damage. I'll tell you what it is. It's since Jimmy's got this uh, snapshot or whatever. It's a reckless shot, which gives him the negative on the, the hit. Like, and, like, honestly, if he just spammed normal attacks, like we would have been through this by now. You're totally wrong, Jimmy. You know, Hello. <laughs> the toughest part about Jimmy's... Um, <laughs> he's greedy, mate. He's greedy. He's, he's, like, he's, he's like, he's basically oh, you get, you the Rick of the plus, two, plus like, four, plus this, plus that, and you want somebody else to help you on top of it. He's well, like, yeah. oh, I, I, it's better I than doing nothing with plus. the Sacred Flame, right? The Sacred Flame did nothing. Even if it works, oh. it does like plus four or whatever. I never go with the nom. The nom is the reason we're still alive. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay. Sacred Flame is not a very good action. That's why I, that's I'm just why saying I everybody it. should do what I say so that yeah, I can let's, hit everything. Let's, let's focus well, no, so down. that so that we win the fight. So that we win the fight. I, just, I was just trying to win, okay? I wanted us all to survive <laughs> instead of us all dying. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> we I'm, love I'll roleplay somebody who wants to die. Yeah. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite fitting that Dak is a moron isn't it <laughs> no it's quite fitting that what no Dak is a moron <laughs> i mean okay wow <laughs> banter no but it doesn't feel though, like banter honestly, though, his... it feels like you believe it which is worrying but you know <laughs> I, mate, I, I like honestly i don't believe it mate. but daka's uh, daka's both of daka's superiority dice were ones yeah I'm yeah i've been uh, i've been diced i've oh, been really needed done. a couple don't, more don't, don't, don't i could have been safe i could have been safe on that i could have done the safe i could have done like a safe shot for the tripping attack idea oh jim but say i the didn't line. know how much i needed say the line say the line jim what? I have not rolled average dice. <laughs> no, no, it was just—it was just like literally that. I've been unlucky with rolling two ones on superior yeah. dice. I don't know what I needed on the second one, but I'm pretty sure uh, I needed the two on the first one. Yeah, no, it's shit, mate. It's shit. It's all good though. Like I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. The, the stress and the pressure is like fun. Good. <laughs> yeah, like I guess if we just ruffle stomped everybody, it wouldn't be as fun. But also, Wait, there, was, there was a moment where I was just like, "Holy shit, we're all dead!" And then yeah, like, we're still, I, still I in danger because we, we, we're not we're not hurting <laughs> this guy very much. <laughs> there, there was there was a moment where I was like, "Oh my god, we're all dead!" Uh, mm. But yeah, I think we're all right here. I think we're all right. I don't know what slots uh, Eliod and Flagel have left. I really could have done with a rest before this combat, Jim. <laughs> no, <laughs> quietly. Yeah, no. Just quietly. Oh, I've got loads of dice. It's all right. I mean, okay. I I've got basically all my spell slots left. I'm I'm just using one to activate the dragon's breath. And then yeah, I see, Flagel's got loads of spells, so you can chromatic orb or whatever. But I'm also yeah, I'm also orb almost the blood dead. guy. Yeah, yeah, he could, couldn't he? But I'm also almost yeah. dead. So. Uh, well, Elliot's out of spells. Just let me tank, me. I like to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Like I'm pretty healthy. Like considering. I've been banged on by everyone. Like everyone's yeah. everyone's had a go at me, and they. Yeah, even even Elliot put a ring on your finger. 
<laughs> literally everyone's just like spunking all over. Oh man, the stories you gentlemen will tell. And right before combat, the gnome reached up and put a ring on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we ready to rock and roll? So little Jimmy, are we ready, gentlemen, by the way? Yep. I was born ready. All right, so once again, little Jimmy is, is, is holding the fort with a torch behind everybody. <laughs> He's not Hello. too worried now. He's seen some of the enemies fall. Yeah, yeah, he's he's brave again. All right, Blood Abomination takes two uh, two swings at uh, Dimitriov again. And I laugh in his face. Ha 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 ha! Come at me! Come at me! Come at me, bro! Come at me! He's got some mad buffs though, like. Oh! oh! Okay, so. He is not going to get his second attack. He is... Oh, well, actually, you know what? He's not that dexterous. I'm going to give him a dexterity. He's He has swung and he has cuffed at you. He's just... He's he's hit you three times already. He's he's He keeps getting more and more ferocious internally as a result of that. He's going to take the swing. He's going to take a dexterity check. If he fails, uh, uh, we'll say a DC 12... He's going to fall over prone here. All right, so he's able to maintain his balance, but he is not going to get his second attack as a result of that one. All right, this blood fanatic... He's gonna aim at. Um, he's he's sick of getting this friggin' poison dragon's breath in his face. <laughs> is that the sorry? Is that the blood acolyte? I'm sorry. Yes, the acolyte. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So make your uh, DC 12 dexterity check, please. Come on, Dado. Well, good. Oh. A 12 on the button, so no damage. <laughs> Dimitriov, you are up, sir. Right, so having laughed off the uh, the attack from the blood spawn or the blood fanatic, uh, I'm going to channel the inner Pete Sampras, his backhand. <laughs> so you know how good Pete Sampras's backhand was, right? And I'm going to aim it right at this geezer's head. <laughs> and it's going to be like the return serve smash, like sideways on. An unarmed strike, or are you actually? No, 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 no. This is no, with axe. an axe instead yeah. of a yeah, yeah, instead yeah. with an axe racket. instead of a tennis racket, like, like, like a tennis <laughs> racket. I, I, do, well, I like... just, I just imagine you like going for the actual backhand. <laughs> I like how he, I like how he picks an American tennis player as well, you right? <laughs> Dadel, do you know who Pete Sampras is? Yeah, I grew up. Do, in the do you know how good his backhand was? Like, yeah, even even without. <laughs> Not yeah. that good. We should have gone for an Agassi what backhand. Backhead? We should go for an Agassi backhand. <laughs> Beautiful strike. A 22 hits yeah, easily. Yeah. Like, huh? <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to roll damage. Please. Uh, why is the damage thing not the same? Hold on. Oh, here it is. Oh no, you must roll the attack before. Yeah, just roll the attack again and then just ignore the attack roll and click the damage. Oh, I just wasted the 10. Oh, I can re-roll that. Yeah, can you re can re-roll re one or a two as a result uh, of being a great, great weapon fighter. Uh, so down below, just grab a d12 and then we add three to it. Oh, hey. Hey. And I smash him in the chops. <laughs> and then uh, that's it, I think. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'll let the dog out because Michelle's going nuts. Okay, what does Elliot the Nam have up his sleeve? All right, bonus action, I uh, cobble this guy for the uh, cog. It's covering time! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Is that, is that good? That hits, yep. So roll damage, please. Kiss the gnome. Get him! Yeah. Kiss the gnome. He falls over dead. Wonderful. Alright, Dakar. 
Come on, Barbara. Uh, I consider whether the goblin uh, has enough of a sense of self-preservation to heal himself in the following turn, and I decide that he doesn't, so I, I force another uh, <laughs> healing potion down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The forcing healing potions down his throat is like the literally best mechanic of this game. <laughs> So oh, 60, it, I'm sorry, uh, I went to the minus uh, 10 I, points of I healing like, again. I like got scared from me getting it forced down my throat. <laughs> so 10 points of healing to Daedle, or to Flargle. And uh, that's me done. Well done, Nom. Amazing. Well done, Nom. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I, oh, love that's that brilliant. Nom. I love that Nom. <laughs> Okay, I'll try and take out this blood acolyte. Okay, Daka, you gotta get some better dice here, my brother. Yeah, I'm gonna try and take out this fella. I'll just the shoot law him. of averages dictates. I'm just gonna shoot normally this time. What the bad angel one is yeah. oh, so, uh, I roll, I roll well that? when I'm doing a normal shot. That's the worst bloody thing. Right. Nice. Nine that strikes him dead. That strikes him dead. Lovely. Um. Mm. So the yeah. first of the acolytes falls to the ground. Yeah. I can just go here, can't I? Uh, no, what, there's a I... Uh, there's the sacred the sacred weapon. Elliot's sacred weapon is there. There, you can go that yeah, way. So I could go there, yeah. and then so fifteen to there. Yeah, and then just yeah, then body over. You're fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you. Oh, he's Move there, then there. over the yeah. dead body, is he? Wow. Yeah, good to do. That's 15. All right. It's a four plus two. I'm just going to move that body out of the way. All right, cheers. And I've got 15 more. Um, Where are you going? To shoot that guy. He's, he wants to kill the priest, dude. Yeah. He's, oh, he's, there's a priest around there. Holy yeah, he's de he's decided that, that your life isn't worth it. He oh. wants the glory of killing the priest. Well, I just realized I can't, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Can I can't see around corners. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> he goes off into the dark. <laughs> and I just realized I can't, I can't look around the corner and see him because there's no light there. <laughs> like, that was a terrible idea. Um... That's brilliant. <laughs> You gotta say, you gotta say the line. So for chat's point of view, this is Daka's uh, uh, <laughs> field of vision because the torch is down south here. So this is what his character actually sees. Mm. And as you can see, the blood priest is positioned quite uh, quite nicely in that corner. I uh, can't see shit. Right, um, Where is he? Uh, no. Like, uh, so how do I ping? Like which that? one? Th this one's. Uh, this one is the enemy one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. In that case, what I'll do is I'll be the true hero and go here so that it'll probably attack me, right, rather than go somewhere else. Yeah, and, good uh, lad. And I shall use my bonus attack to just shoot this uh, normal blood acolyte. Uh, and how, who are you, Daka? I am the law. I'm the law. I am the law. There we go. Get him. See, I roll brilliant when I don't have the minus five. It's so fucking stupid. Every time it's I roll... Cause, it's because you said the line, mate. Every time I get a minus five, I just fucking roll a three and miss. <laughs> All right, so your, your crossbow bolt strikes him right in the side as he takes it. Uh, he takes it true. Beautiful shot. Good. Not a hell of a lot of damage, but it is striking him. Mm. And then that's me done. Oh, uh, which did who cast the spiritual weapon? Was that the priest? The priest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scumbag. Oh, the blessed though, the bless was the blessed. The priest. No, the as priest well. is the one who blessed. Oh, what a scumbag! <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's fucking priest, man. <laughs> or no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the priest did not bless. The priest cast the spiritual weapon. So you are correct. He cast it. Hold on one second. Ooh. You are correct. I wasn't really correct, I just asked. <laughs> I was just hoping it was... No, I'm, no, I'm, glad I'm, I'm honestly glad you pointed that out. He makes it. I'm glad you pointed that out. Thank you. Does he make a save? Like, when I breathe my AoE talks thing on him as well? Yeah, he should have made that last time. So let's... Um, let me roll it again. I'm going to be nice. Oh, good guy. Good guy, Jack Bull. I mean, he just rolls 15, so... Oh, he no, didn't roll he a 15! Didn't. <laughs> Unbelievable, Joe. Yeah. 
Okay, so the, the bless falls off of the blood abomination. Due to a, a rewind in time as we, as we, as we go back. <laughs> Man, I can't really ask Jim. I can't really ask little Jimmy to. Oh, thank you, priest. <laughs> thank you, priest. Doesn't seem good. Okay, so he casts Spirit Guardians. Oh, what? And a a, a, a torrent <laughs> of shards of bone and and <laughs> shards of bone and blood uh, rise from the ground, rise out of the 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 cultist bodies, are pulled in from the room behind you, and start to swirl fanatically around this priest. As he looks at you and in in, in, you can just see in his eyes that he is resigned to it's either you're dead or he's dead. Oh my god. All right, so here's the damage. Everybody within this circle must make a DC 13 wisdom save. Let me roll the damage. And then um, all of his friends are unaffected by it. Isn't that when they start their turn? Yeah, I think... I. You might be right. Hold on one sec. Your choice if they're evil. They're blah, 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 blah. When you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures to be unaffected. Uh, yeah. it mu okay. When a creature enters the, the area for the first time, or on, I'm sorry, on a turn, or starts its turn. Thank you. So we're going to have to just, I don't know if right. I can pin that. Yeah. So Is that we'll the figure that out. Part or the yellow part? The black can... part. And it's any any part of the any part of a hex uh, or a, I'm sorry, a yeah, square with that in it. Yeah, yeah. Largo yeah. Schnarp, you are up, sir. Well, this makes it difficult, right? Because. No, we can do it there. You could you could orb this guy because this is a pretty pretty good spell. <laughs> what what did you say you could what? Orb him. Oh, orb. orb. Yeah, <laughs> chromatic orb this guy. Right? Yeah, we'll we'll chromatic orb him. Does Jimmy know this spell? Yes. Yes, Jimmy. This is this oh, is. He was Elliot. waiting for Elliot to get this, this spell. Yes, this is Elliot's <laughs> spell. Yes, and then the the sick thing is right. Elliot can cast this. Telekinetic somebody into it so they take damage, and then they'll start their turn in it and take damage again. Oh, oh, too sweet. Uh, Zach. So don't forget to target your, um, let's see, it is, so that hits, so roll for damage, please. Remember to hit versatile, not damage. Hit versatile, because I programmed it correctly. So 19 oh. points of damage. Four. Nice shot. Glorious. Glorious orbing. And what can I do with a bonus action? You can uh, tell tell little Jimmy to remain calm with the power of uh, telepathy. <laughs> that might, uh, might scare the fuck Jimmy's out. Got the <laughs> might, scare the fuck, might scare the fuck out of him. Actually, <laughs> the goblin just starts talking in his head. <laughs> maybe, maybe he shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'm done. Unless I. No, because then I need to enter the circle. And yeah, never mind. I'm done. Sacred Flame at Daedal? Or at Flargal? Oof. Eight, eight points, DC <laughs> 12, so saving throw. So much better than us at rolling dice, what the hell? <laughs> 
Oh. Right, eight, eight points of damage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Run away! Thank God. <laughs> Thank God the fucking gnome is here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Flip me. Oh man, All right, it's a little Jimmy, uh, any, okay, little Jimmy's gonna stay right where he is. Yeah, if, if only he could shoot us. I had four dice, and I still only did twice the amount of damage. <laughs> this fucking cantrip. Have you got, have you got, uh, inspiration? No. Uh. First of two slam attacks on Dim. Also, the only thing I needed to do was roll exactly average. <laughs> Avoid it. Dimitriov takes half damage, so three, three and three. Three and three. Wow, should I just take four? No, no, it's because it, it rounds down. Because he's got four. resistance, I'll remember? Yeah. Resistance four. starts. I'll take four and you take three. No, no, resistance, resistance halves it. This is this is how okay. it works. Okay. I took four anyway, it's fine. <laughs> that okay. does not hit. Okay, Dimitri, it's up to you, brother. First things first. <laughs> like, do I who's whose swipey sword is this that's uninjured in between me and Deco? That's mine. That's, that's, yeah, that's, um, Eliod's. So if I dodge through, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity off the... Well, actually, right now, I need you to give me a, because it's the start of your turn, I need to, give me a DC, uh, DC 13 dexterity saving throw, please. Dexterity? I thought it was wisdom. Wisdom, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on, I was looking at, uh, Flargo Snarf's spell. I apologize. Yeah, I fucking passed it, mate. Okay, so that should give you half damage, I believe. That was okay, a hard spell designated and the creature takes three to radiant, neutral good, or necrotic. On a successful day, this creature takes half as much. Okay, here's the damage. Jesus Christ. So five points to you and five to uh, our, our good man there. Uh, do, uh, oh, yeah. No, no, because it's... Past the save, right? So then, he ha is he resistant to that as well, or not? Oh yeah, so it should be. Oh, half, that's true. Half. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah, five yeah. would have been so two and two. Mm. Thank you, uh, Daka. Two and Sorry. two then. Thirty. Give myself three back. So I kind of like. Do you think I should dodge off and finish off this near death guy? Yeah. Who's next in the queue? Well, remember if you you die if oh, you no, die. No, you guys, you guys are gonna go first. You guys are gonna go first. So you will kill him. Yeah, right? Elliot. So, Elliot yeah. Uh, and then. Oh, yeah, Michael, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's got the attachment. I, I don't well, think I can do any damage to this chap, but I'm gonna try. After he uh, threw up his guts at me, <laughs> I'm gonna like like cough up some blood and spit in his face as I sweep my axe in the motion of an Andy Murray slam. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> the tennis playing axe man. <laughs> I don't know what's next, man. This is brilliant. So, with a Scottish accent, I say... <laughs> <laughs> we need to hear this Scottish accent, oh, by the way. Oh, no, shit. No, no, I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. I'm going to use my inspiration. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, if you have inspiration, definitely use it. Yeah, so I'll roll the attack again. And yeah, that hits. I'm going to roll my damage. Inspiration is pretty good. Mm. Very inspired. Oh my! He takes oh, two re points. Reroll it. Yeah, reroll it. Yep. Re -roll roll that. Oh, no, reroll. Yep. Thank you. Reroll. Reroll. Why? Reroll that. Because I'm a fighter, so basically, weapon. I've oh, got okay. any one or two I roll on damage, I can reroll it for free. So get uh, eight. Yeah, but I have to take whatever the second score is. Yeah, so eight. Damage. Yep, so he so he takes three points of damage as a result of his uh, resistance. Four. Four, right? Four. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, because it was supposed to have given him the plus three, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's uh, the nom. The nom. Oh, bonus attack the uh, priest. Mm. Come on, miss. Come on, miss. <laughs> Don't miss. 
Yes! Oh, that hits. Nice. Kill him. Does that get him? Damn it. Freaking ones, guys. What are you doing? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'll cast um, Sacred Flame. Blood Bowl players, unlike you. Yeah, Sacred Flame might get him. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Baby. Maybe, maybe Jack Bull won't roll bad. <laughs> maybe. Or seven glorious. I mean, Jack Bull needs to fail his saving throw. That's yeah, impossible. I mean, it might happen, right? It might happen in one session. He does yeah. fail the saving throw. Four. Oh, yeah, no bonuses. Four. Glorious. And falls over dead. Give me one second here to clear this up. Good job. Phew. Yep, good job, Elliot the Gnome. Clear up. Go ahead. Doctor, go ahead and take fire whoever you want. I don't want to slow it down. Okie dokie. Um, I guess he's yellow. I might be able to... Oh, shall I be greedy? I'll be greedy and uh, and take a big shot at this guy. Shall I? No, no, no. I won't, I won't be greedy. I'll be sensible. Just shoot him. Normally. That hits. 22, yep. See, now you should have been using all those. I know, right? Every time, every time I roll well when I'm not using the special attack. I mean, no. that would that would have been a twelve without the right. So that would have. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, a seventeen. No, because you go from plus five to minus five, right? No, you don't. You go from nothing to. Oh, minus just five. minus five. No, it would have been a seventeen. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Would have, would have hit him, I guess. Um, Did you hit your damage? Yep. Yeah, so we'll do damage and then. After said damage, I should make that a tripping attack. Okay. <laughs> um, Get on the floor. Yeah, hopefully. Right, so an extra five damages on a strength saving throw. Yeah, he's dead. Versus what, uh... Um... I don't, it just says a strength saving throw. Okay, so you would have a specific DC. So at the bottom... Oh, well. I thought it showed it on yours. Hold on. Google it. Okay, so it's a DC 9, so he does not he does not fall over. No. So if you go to the bottom of your spell book, it'll... Uh, that's spell DC. Hold on. I'm going to look up that rule. I'm not sure what your DC is going to be. We're going to say that he's going to miss that, though. Yeah, it just says he must take a strength saving throw. It doesn't, on the rule, it doesn't actually yeah, say Yeah, but there's you, there's a DC that you set up. Every character has a generic oh, it's, DC. Oh, it's, it's, it says what it is on the Battlemaster's rule. Yeah, oh, okay. I yeah, well, I've, got to, I've, got to, I've got to look for that. And we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say that he's down. I don't want to slow this down any further. Okay, okay. Right, we'll say he's down. Good. So then... Once he's down, thank you for the raid, whoever that was. Um, that was Tails on Tap, uh, Glorious, Daka. glorious. Thank, thank you, you for that raid. Eleven raiders coming in. Four, glorious. Welcome to we us battling. We lost our, uh, D &D. Our, best of all, our faces on the stream. The cams. The cams? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we lost I'm, cams on stream. Yeah, because I was looking up the rules and it's, it's, it's hard to do things. Uh, right, here we go. We're okay now. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Diddle. Right, so then I'll move up with him on the ground, as he as he must be. <laughs> and, okay. uh, and then shoot him with advantage with uh, the reckless shot. All right, so that hits. Good. Let's see what damage you do to this guy. Probably very dead. Yeah, you just, I mean, you walk up and you just coup de grom, right? Right through the right through the back of the skull. You just, there's, 
<laughs> in fact, his his head is just attached to the to the to the uh, to the rock face below. Glorious. All right, just the big guy left. So you think? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. Uh, should I chromatic orb him or should I just breathe? I should just breathe on him now and not waste spell slots, right? I mean, he's a big giant monster. I mean, he doesn't do a lot of damage, to be fair, so like... He's a big giant monster. <laughs> I mean, he's not actually doing a lot of damage, is he? So I guess... No. Well, so he's actually... Well, it, it, much to Dimitriov's uh, chagrin, he's already had to quaff two of his potions. So yes, he's actually done a lot of damage, Jim. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess he could do it. He's doing, yeah, he's doing a bit when he hits. I love, I love how Doc, he hasn't taken much damage. He's okay. Fuck him. No, no, he's not dealing much. Dimitri, Dimitriov's taken a lot, but he was fighting four guys, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like that particular one. I mean, we it's up to, it's up to Flag or Snap, isn't it? And you can meta this, so you can kind of angle that perfect. All right, so hit that damage, please. Oh, now that it's only one guy left. <laughs> Roll above 10. Okay, so he does not make it. He rolled the 13, but he has a negative one bonus to his dexterity. He's just this big lumbering oaf, right? So 11 points of damage. Yeah, and I'll stay here. It's little Jimmy's turn. <laughs> little Jimmy, uh, little Jimmy moves forward a little bit now. He's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more confident here. Daka's moved ahead. Daka coup de grace, some dude right in the back of the head, right? Yeah. There's there's a lot fewer combatants out there. Yep. It was 14, by the way, the save, so it was a fail. I'm sorry, say again? The strength save was a 14. 14, yeah. DC 14. Oh, your, thank you. Your, um, your save. Thank mm. you. I'm sorry. Or your DC, your personal DC. Yep. Okay, so the Blood Abomination um, takes another couple of swings. He really wants Dimitriov bad, dude. He <laughs> sees that there's a ring on his finger. He knows he's taken. <laughs> he is. He is. He's taken aback by this. <laughs> well, he's Elliot taken a serious liking injured. to Dimitriov. Yeah. Well, I didn't see that Elliot was badly injured. Actually. I just <laughs> push the hair back. And go. Rah! Uh. First strike misses. Second cuff comes around, his other hand. Second strike misses. And I posture my chest. Dimitriov, you're up, sir. Right, I'm gonna come with the Rafael Nadal forehand. <laughs> uh, axe swing. And uh, obviously targeting. So we went overhand, to, no, backhand to overhand and now forehand. Well, backhand was Pete Sampras. The yes. smash, the smash was uh, Andy Murray. And nice. now we got. Now we're going with a Rafa Nadal forehand <laughs> cleave, like you know. I, I feel like tennis is the uh, <laughs> the closest comparison to axe work. Probably with a hatchet, yes, but you carry a, a woodsman's axe. So. No, it's, it's no, it's a two-handed great axe that I've got. Somehow I don't think you're swinging it, you know, at the base <laughs> of the. <laughs> right, so I, I, I like I look in his eyes. And I nod, like a knowing nod, that I am about to really hurt him. Nice. Strike strike hits. And I go, For the lady! <laughs> what uh, lady? I can reroll that. I That's can re a reroll. I don't yeah. like her very much, that. do you? That lady. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hate that lady. <laughs> Alright, so 9 plus 3, 12. So 6 points of damage. Yeah. And then I hand it over to the Nom. All right, Elliot the Nom, let's see what's up, brother. Oh, uh, bonus attack. Beautiful strike. 
Five points of damage. And cast Sacred Flame. Actually, wait, 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 hold on a sec. Um, check that spell. I think that's Radiant Damage, and if so, that does full damage. Uh, it is, yeah. It's Radiant? Oof. Radiant, sir. It, was that a yes? It, yeah, yeah, it's Radiant, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, Elliot's so good. Elliot and Jack will share size. <laughs> oh, Successful nice. saving throw, DC uh, 13. That's a minus one. No, this, the Sacred Flame is pretty decent against him in the night. Daka, you're up. Let's see what you can do here. Um, Will he use his uh, his aimed shot? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. We're just gonna we're just gonna try and try and get him. Let's try and get him here. Oh, beautiful! Hit. That one hits. Yep. Glorious. Let's see what the damage does on this. Oosh. So Bosh. nine. Bosh. Bosh. Oh, and again. Second miss, second shot with I your bonus action. Yep. Miss, miss, miss. No. Oh. 21 hits. Get him. Get him, Daka. Oh, 10 damages. That oh, 9 do or 10. Much damage, <laughs> 10 damages, and he falls to the floor dead. And I run up and jump on his stupid face. Did you cut him open and get inside? No, I'm just jumping up and down on his stupid ugly face. So, so uh, Dimitrov drops to one knee, exhales deeply, like exhausted, and uh, looks back at the nom and just gives him a nod he doesn't say anything there's no words he just nods at nom and then tries to regain his breath all right the nom the nom's the nom's the worst off out of all of us isn't he oh, yeah no. the nom's not doing so hot no i kept feeding all my potions to uh to somebody else <laughs> yeah, i mean i would have died died twice over if you didn't so i'm happy so are you out of healing uh Oh, you're out of all your spells and everything. Well, Holy well, shit! Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not not quite out, not quite out. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have your cantrips, right? Oh uh, yeah, and I got my um, my appeal to my deity. <laughs> okay. Dimmy and I are. Alright, so what? Um, what channel, 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 so um, channel divinity. go ahead. Ch channel divinity. I can still channel divinity. Oh, that's oh. true. I forgot about that. Yes, yes, you Wait. can channel divinity. Oh, wait, he's still alive. What the flip? He's wait, not he's alive. No, I'm trying to move Daedal off of him so that uh, that way we can see where Daedal is. <laughs> I thought we were like celebrating. I thought we were like. I'm jumping. No. On him. Okay, so <laughs> let's 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 recover here. We're all happy that you finally won. <laughs> it was a tough fight. Um. So with that, oh Jesus Christ, Daedal. Here, watch. Here, I'm gonna let me kick Daedal out of the stream. <laughs> no, I'm jumping up and down on his face. So with <laughs> with the, so the blood abomination takes. So he's facing away from. Um, Daka, right? He's, his whole attention, his entire attention is focused on Dimitriov. He's cuffing, he's missing the, um, the, the, the magic that, that Eliad has, has, has cast in him through the, um, <laughs> through, through the magical promise ring, um, <laughs> has, has allowed him to, to dodge a majority of these strikes. And from behind, two crossbow bolts come just wang, wang, right, one right in the back of the neck, one right in the back of the head. And this abomination just falls forward, right? And it, his mouth opens up, blood pours from it. You know, the, the it's 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 just a it's it's a disgusting sight, right? Um, he breathes his last breath onto the ground. It's I mean, everybody starts to exhale. Elliot falls to a knee. Dimitriov is 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 holding his axe triumphantly. What's everybody doing at this point besides the goblin? <laughs> He's jumping all down. Just no. exhausted. Just yeah. exhausted. I, li I, I, I lie down, exhausted, and just lie down. Mm, I go, I go and pick up my crossbow and bolts. <laughs> That's the most important. <laughs> what, what, did, thing. what did you say? Got to pick, pick up my crossbow bolts. 
that you said pick up your crossbow like after the fight's over you threw it <laughs> no 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 all pick the shitty the dice you've been rolling yeah pick up the bolts and then uh i don't know it's uh it's uh it's i don't know yeah just to take stock of the situation a little bit obviously a bit knackered you gotta, you gotta give jimmy a bit of a yeah, go and go and uh, go and make sure little Jimmy's all right. Uh, yeah, little nice. Jimmy, you know, I mean, he's a little. Um, he was, you know, he's a little rattled. I mean, this was a big fight, right? He saw you guys taking damage. He saw the great Daka take his first points of damage. Granted, they were from him. <laughs> he saw Jimmy. <laughs> he saw Dimitriov. Yeah, he's getting head just... in. <laughs> what, what'd you say, Dimitriov? Get his head kicked in, like literally. <laughs> he said Dimitri getting man. cuffed around. Yeah. No, honestly, <laughs> right? So this kid, this kid's seen a lot in the last 48, 72 hours, right? Mm, he's killed um, two men as well. <laughs> he's, he's he's killed two men. <laughs> we can't forget that he has killed two men as well. Um, you know, he's he's he feels safe and secure around Elliot. He knows that Elliot's a healer. Um, he's he himself kind of takes stock of the situation. Holy shit! What do you, you don't think there's more of those things, do you? We don't know. So there might be. Gotta, gotta follow Jimmy's uh, or Daka's uh, directions closely, because like this is dangerous. We oh, no shit! It's fucking dangerous. You <laughs> see this thing? The thing was beating the shit out of the meat we have. <laughs> I've never yeah, seen something that big before. Then you try to fucking throw up on him. Why we're telling you to keep back? Yep, yep. So Duck will take. You damn right, I'm gonna fucking keep back. Duck will take the torch off little Jimmy because obviously it's a bit, you know, he's a bit heavy on that in here. So he'll take the torch off him, and uh, and then say, right, well, look, we, we're gonna have to. We, we need to rest now, right? We're all we're all pretty much wrecked. Well, um, we got we, we got to make sure that it's like clear in here. No, no, I'm exhausted. Oh, we, we, we have to make sure that there aren't more enemies here. Will you go and look while I rest? <laughs> uh, well, and I'll raid the bodies. <laughs> Elliot, are you doing anything, sir? Yeah, I examine the priest and uh, see if I can uh, determine anything. Okay, so give me, a, give me a religion check and a perception check, please, both. Okay, so the the okay, so that's your religion. Oh dear. Okay, so the 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 toll of the battle, right? The 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 utilizing all of your your willpower through your spells, forcing potions down the goblin's throat. <laughs> um, that was hilarious. You know, all, that's, favorite favorite comment had to be at seeing that the goblin won't take care of himself. Um, <laughs> You're still a little frazzled, right? This is this is honestly your first major combat where you guys as a team have faced adversity. Um, looking over the priests, though, you know you take you take uh, you take stock of the situation. You take a few deep breaths. This is definitely you would consider this the highest ranking member of the quote unquote cultist priesthood that you've that you've come across. Looking at his priestly vestments looking at um, the different things that he has on him, the spells that he chose to cast, the fact that there was a blood abomination here, something that is that is so um, uh, so wild, so insanely full of, of, of just, I don't really know how to, how to describe it, yet it didn't attack any of the priests, the, the cultists, nothing, right? It attacked with such uh, with such ferocity, but it still avoided those individuals. Um, this was obviously somebody who was in charge of something here. Um, inside of his, you, you rifle through his vestments a little bit. You find some more cultist papers on him. Again, another set of three, very similar to the first. Two of them, two of them exactly matching the first ones you found. And the third one is brand new. Um. On top of that, you find a, um, a dagger, a beautifully hilted dagger. You pull the dagger from the sheath. It is impossibly sharp. Uh, impossibly meaning, I mean, this is like you, you could, you've seen, you've seen very sharp weapons when you were earning your PHG, right? 
um, if from uh, from uh, uh, dissecting classes, science classes, things like that, right? And there were these there were these tools, these scalpels that were used to make precision cuts. And this this dagger has that same type of an edge. Its point, you know how usually you can touch the, the point of a dagger and there will be no wound. It barely, barely breaks your skin even with the lightest of touches. And there is a soft, beautiful blue gem at the tail end of the hilt. Um, is this the priest's holy symbol, or is there another holy symbol? Curiously enough, you don't notice, like, a holy symbol as far as, like, um, something that he's wearing around a chain, or a symbol upon his body, on his priestly vestments. Again, very cultist in behavior, right? Um, if, if you want to cast spirit guardians, though, don't you need a holy symbol? <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, you would. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so I, w I would not say that this is his holy symbol. Oh, no, we'll just say this isn't his holy symbol, no. Okay, okay, cool. Well, I, I take the dagger and the papers. Um, and I go over to Dakar and Dimitriov and say, Look. A dagger. <laughs> okay, so um, for, you find four gold pieces on the priest himself. There's 14 gold pieces mixed amongst the other individuals. Right. So, Daka, if you want to distribute the 14 however you want, Elliot, you've got the four. You can do whatever you want with that. Mm. Oh, I will share the four out, one each. Oh, lovely. And I guess, obviously, we share the 14 out, and then I guess... An ex we've got an extra two, haven't we? So an extra one for uh, for little Jimmy, and an extra oh, one. Oh man, little Jimmy's getting paid, dude. Yeah, and an extra one for Eliod the Nom because he was so uh, he was so good in healing everyone, wasn't he? Oh, thank you, Dagger. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> So, um, so, no, how many, so you how just many, how many gold is that exactly? Four <laughs> each. We, we get four each, and oh, Elliot totally gets five. Good. Yeah, should I have been tracking this gold by the way? Yeah, yeah on the bottom of your character sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh well. <laughs> That's fine. Out. Just, just, just give yourself uh, twenty, additional twenty. What? <laughs> well, because he's been getting gold for the last two or three sessions, I'm just going to assume it's been plus or minus that. I gave myself fifteen. Okay, so um, this dagger, so you're sharing this with the party? Yeah, can I have a look yeah. at that dagger? Yeah, okay, I hand the dagger to Dimitriov. What do you make of this? Perception uh, yeah. check, Dimitriov. I glance down at the dagger, uh, feeling the weight, like nimbly flicking it through my fingers as a, as a expert of war uh, perception. I say, this is a dagger. <laughs> okay, so, but still, even with that roll, this is one of the most beautiful daggers you've ever seen, Demi. There's a reason. I'll say this. There was a reason that this dagger was crafted, specifically. This is not your a normal throwing dagger or throwing knife. This is not a usual um, uh, dirk that, a, that, a, that, that a, a cutthroat may use in the night. There's a reason that this dagger was made. It's just finely, finely crafted. Even with a two, you can see that. I, I drop the dagger on the floor, and as I go to pick it up, I kick it with my foot. <laughs> <laughs> like an absolute moron. <laughs> Is Dimitrov's limited dagger perception uh, sufficient to tell whether the dagger can be thrown effectively as a weapon? It could. Any dagger could effectively be thrown. Right. Um, a Ooh. dagger by nature is, is typically a two-bladed, a double-sided weapon. Um, does not have any type of a curve to it. Um, so any dagger could be thrown. So yes, you could. Um, but it's gorgeous. I mean, it's beautiful. And this gem on the end, this tells you that, again, unless unless the person who crafted this for throwing was one of the richest men you've ever known, this probably isn't an implement for throwing as its first purpose. Mm. So it looks like a sacrificial dagger, doesn't it, basically? Or, you know, some some kind of something for this to make this... Okay, so there's no blood on the blade whatsoever, or in the hilt. Mm -hmm. I, I hold it. I hold it by the sharp end and hand it back to uh, the. Dog. <laughs> Thank you, Dimitrov. I attempt to pry the gem from the handle of the dagger. What? Wow. With use, utilizing what, sir? Mage hand. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
You're gonna okay. Is that okay? So read me the Mage Hand spell again and how you're gonna use that. <laughs> because if I remember correctly, Mage Hand, you can manipulate an item. You can use the hand to manipulate an item, open an unlocked door container, or stow or retrieve an item from an open container, or pull the contents out of a vial. It can't attack, activate magic items, or carry. Well I, I will allow you that it that the Mage Hand will like twist and or. You know, kind of move back and forth, if you will. I think he wants you to unscrew it. Can I just say, can I, oh, I, I can't speak, can't I? I can't speak. I'll say, uh, Elio the Nun, do you not think, dagger. do you not think maybe like a very elaborate ornate dagger may be more valuable than splitting the contents? <laughs> yeah, but it's a weapon, right? Like, uh, Dimi can, Dimitrov can replace one of his Hancocks with a sewing dagger, but I don't want him to throw the jewel away. I think it, then, like, it, the whole it's thing seems like... better to sell, don't you think? Like than than throw a dagger when he's got glorious <clears throat> handcocks. You've got your well, spells. maybe maybe it's a clue to or the it could riddle. be evidence. No, okay then we'll um, we'll keep the dagger intact by now. Who who wants to take the dagger? I can take it. Mm. No, I'm happy okay. If if you don't mind, no. I I hand to meet your dagger. Can I have a look at this? Uh, can I have a look at the priest's uh, like mace or whatever he has here? This looks so. Nice. Okay, so so who did you give the dagger to? Dimitrov. Okay, so Dimitrov has a dagger. So just note that Dimitrov, that you now have that dagger on you. I'll do it on the Slack. Yeah, if you'll do that for me. Dado, did you is see there the a message? Name? Is there a name to this dagger, or do I just put dagger? Just put um, just put sharp dagger. I'll know what it is. Sorry, what? Should I do a magic check on the dagger? Oh. Oh, yeah, Ooh. maybe. Yeah, yeah. No. I pretend to throw it at Daedal. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> And then I and then I whip it round like you know like the old uh, revolvers. Right, so Dale, give me a perception check on that. I'm completely unfazed. Wait, I'm sorry, not perception, Arcana. I apologize, Arcana check, please. Uh, sorry, I was trying to find the right tab. <laughs> uh, attributes, Arcana. Ooh. Okay, so this this dagger catches your eye instantly, right? Um, and on it, it has um, it has some words in draconic. Oh, let me read those words. <laughs> One second, I'm going to send you a message. I say to the others, I can that these are draconic letters. Mm. Let me see how I want to word this. Give me one quick second here. I, I glance at the numb, uneasy, looking for reassurance. Um, the the goblin speaks draconic. I glance at Daka, and then <laughs> glance at the goblin. And I'll say the goblin speaks draconic in goblin. <laughs> <laughs> So Draconic doesn't have like a direct <laughs> translation to common, meaning like word for word specifically, but that's about as close as you can come up with transitioning from one to the other. All right. Lago. I, I could keep the dagger safe. Mm, tell me why you should keep it safe. I mean, I'm using daggers in close combat. Like, I can make use of it. Oh, you need to do better than that. Come on, persuade me. Can you dual wield the daggers? Persuade me. <laughs> what, uh, what is this? <laughs> that, that's my charisma roll. You would actually do a persuasion check if, if, so Dimmy, you, you, if you want to do it to dice, you can, Dim. You don't have to because this I is. I didn't roll is... anything. I didn't roll anything. Okay. I was about I to was say. Just, I just wanted to see how charismatic I was. <laughs> I'm very charismatic. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll let I'll let I'll let uh, Jack Paul decide. Is is he charismatic enough to take the dagger off me? I'm not. I'm not gonna decide this for you. Don't put this on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, we've okay. Already... Roll it. All right, Daedal, Give me a charismatic check, like a new one, <laughs> and 15 or higher. Uh, okay. No, I'm not gonna give it to you. No. No. <laughs> that was my roll for something else. I I, 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 I hand like oh no no go on Daedal, roll 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 if you roll 15 I'll give it to you. That's all right. It's all right. Um, <laughs> the the uh, the inscription basically said that the the gem is very powerful, um, mm. and uh, it will keep the the holder of the dagger safe. I I, I go to hold mm. the dagger to Daedal, and at the last minute I like toss it in the air and catch it, and I go ha ha. <laughs> I kick you in the darkness. I uh well having having heard what you said, having heard what you said, I, I glance back at the nom and I go I think you better keep this and I, I hand it back to Eliot the Nom. Okay, I'll I'll take the dagger. Yeah uh, I <laughs> Nobody wants it. <laughs> I, I... Te telepathically tell Elliot uh, to come over here because there are more inscriptions on the ground. Get over here! I, uh, I beckon for Daka and Demetrio to follow. I, I'm going to check this guy's mace first, if I may, please. Whatever it is. It's a, it's a mace. It's a mace. Does it look a yeah, nice it's mace? A mace. Nice mace. As nice as a cultist underground would have. <laughs> okay, good. Right. Well, that's a mace and two more, two more scimitars. <laughs> How many scimitars are we carrying? I know he's, he's gonna Lots. get to the point. Wait, wait till he gets over encumbered, and then he can't even walk. Well, well, then I'll then I'll give some to Dimitriov. <laughs> I ain't carrying your scimitar. Freaking Jimmy's trying to become an arms dealer. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna be an arms dealer. Only if you compare them to tennis players. Okay. I consider it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Elliot, on the ground, you see again that same symbol. Okay. Um, again, it's probably within 90%. You know, again, it's scrawled on the ground. We understand that. Uh, but it is, you, it, there, there's patterns, obviously, right? You're seeing the same thing again. And again, there's several bodies on the ground, and then there's that large, large pile of dirt to the right of you there, to the east of you. Is there That's a hole the in the roof? The worm. There, say again? It's the worm. There is a hole in the roof. This is the largest pile of dirt you've seen thus far. This is much larger and a much larger hole than the worms you've you've encountered thus far. Oh, bigger worm. How, how wide is the hole? <laughs> <laughs> it's about seven donuts thick. <laughs> um... Yeah, I would say donuts, not English donuts. <laughs> probably about ten feet across, or so, maybe larger. And and how? Um, what's the distance from the ground to the entrance to the hole? The vertical. About distance. ten feet. Yeah. The, the 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 ceiling of the cavern will vary anywhere from ten to twelve to fifteen feet as you've gone through. A couple areas reach higher, you know, as natural formations do. And how? So high... it's not. It, this isn't a man-made cavern again. I don't want to give you guys that impression. And how, this is a very natural cavern. And how high does the the tunnel made by the hole proceed? It disappears into the darkness. Hmm. But so, again, remember this one. So uh, I told this to Daedal. This one is more of a funnel shape. You're right. Instead of like where if if a if if the earth were to collapse from the top of a cavern, right? You would have a shape where it collapsed from. This is more of a. It disappears up while it's while it's um, constricting itself further up. There's no way we can explore the hole. <laughs> <laughs> we well, can start um, on each other's shoulders. It, okay, so I, if you want, I will allow you to stand on either either you or the goblin to stand on either Daka's or Dimitriov's shoulders, there'll be a roll, a very simple one, because, in fact, there'll be no roll, because what we'll say is either Daka or Dimitriov will help you while you get on the other ones and will brace you. Okay, I'll stand on uh, someone's shoulders. Uh, is this a Daka... good idea? What if there's a gigantic worm up there? Well, then we need to find it and kill it. Well, I think we should go and have a rest, because 
I've, I'm exhausted, Dimitriov's exhausted, you're quite exhausted, badly injured, uh, Flagel's badly injured, like, you know, we seem in pretty bad oh. shape, I'm, I'm, I'm no, gagging for a long rest. In. What, back to the manor? Mm. No, 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 there was one place that we didn't go though, wasn't there? There is, there was, but... Yeah. There is one place we haven't gone, but do you not think a long rest is a good idea? You ordered a short rest before, Dimitriov. I mean, I'm cool with a short rest, but uh, it's up to you. I mean, we can get all the health back, right, if we do a... Like, we've, we've all... Well, not, not me, but you you three are all uh, pretty busted up. <laughs> not me, I'm not I'm Not, not me, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I've just got a singed bum. Have we, have we learned anything, like, today, or...? We Don't give Jimmy the torch. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Don't give Jimmy the torch. Oh, Jimmy. Okay, so have we learned anything today? So this is the highest ranking priest that you've encountered thus far by his vestments. I'm sure, Elliot, I'm sorry. Would you have told the group that? Yeah. So, Elliot, I'm, I'm assuming you would have, but I always want to give you the option. So, Elliot would have conveyed to that you that, that <laughs> so, yeah, somebody, somebody big just fell here. Somebody big just fell here. And on top of that, whatever the hell that blood abomination was, I mean, there's there's something going on, right? So you've seen the worm so far, or smaller versions of. You've seen the, the fanatics eating the worm and becoming healed as a result of that and getting larger. You've seen the worms eat bodies and as a result heal themselves. Mm -hmm. And you've seen a blood abomination now that is humanoid shaped, that is so muscular and so huge that it's literally bursting out of its own body. What I'm going to do, upon learning that this is the most powerful, this priest is the most powerful man that we've uh, encountered, I shall say, uh, Eliod the Nom, would you please lend me your very sharp dagger for a moment, please? Are you going to trade heads? <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to cut this fella's head off. <laughs> There's your dagger. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming you're going to get rid of the other head you you had before. Yeah, the other head wasn't wasn't as big a fella, was he? So we will replace. No, that no, this was this is definitely this is somebody of note. Mm, yeah, so we'll get his head off. Off with his head. All right, head. so you 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 pull you you procure the bag that had the head of the first <laughs> individual. <laughs> yeah. you, you dump it on the floor unceremoniously. You <laughs> shake the bag out, right? And the head you go, dun, 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 as it rolls off and in, and, 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 and you behead this individual. And so this dagger, it's until you get to the sinew and the bone, it's like cutting warm butter. That skin, <laughs> it's like cutting warm butter. It just it just goes right through. Um, usually with a dagger, you would have to do some type of real sawing because this is not a serrated blade. It's not a curved blade that's made for, you know, you just, you literally just, uh, it's almost like coming across like, you know, like John Rambo's blade and the first, ra um, first blood with the piece of paper. <laughs> it just goes right through his neck. You get to the bone, a little bit of force and it goes through the bone and then you're able to remove the head, Lovely. which you bag. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> So obviously hand the hand the hand the dagger back to Mr. Nom. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, so shall we shall we get a long rest? I think a long rest is a really good idea right now. Can we long rest here? It could be dangerous, couldn't it? There could be a, a big giant like we're ten minutes away from the from or fifteen minutes away from the manor, aren't we? I feel like we should uh we should hightail out of here, to be honest. <clears throat> What's the little Jimmy rolling for? I forgot to unclick him. That was my roll. Mm. Do you not think that's a good idea, lads? Yep. What you time, do go... you know what time, what time did we come down here? About six, I think it was. Yeah, somewhere around 6 p.m. So you've been down here about an hour and a half now, hour 45. Okay. Don't even mess so up the sleep there cycle, two, eh? There are two tunnels that we know of now that... <laughs> Uh, we don't know where they lead, like low, further down below. But yeah, we need a rest, obviously. Right. Long rest. Long rest here. No mana, mana. We're like, we're, we're no, literally yeah, like we fifteen have, minutes. We, we have to go up. Like how far? How, how long back to the mana? 
not far at all. Like fifteen minutes max. Uh, I mean, you remember you're gonna uh, you're okay. gonna take your time, right? You're not just friggin' you're not speed walking back. You're still you're still in a dangerous situation. Yeah. Probably ten minutes back to the entrance, twenty minutes back to the entrance max, and another five minutes up the hill. All right, let's go back to the middle. Mm. Yeah, we're obviously sneaking past the unexplored entering to the. You're sne I'm sorry, you're sneaking past what? The the unexplored entrance. Oh yes, okay. Like so um, let me have give everybody give me a perception check, please. It's funny that perception is one of the things I'm meant to be good at, and I just roll crap every single time. <laughs> See? <laughs> well, that's Elliot, though. That's right. not you. No, oh, that was Elliot. Oh, okay. It was just literally unperceptive cool. guys ever. <laughs> okay, so you make it back. It's an uneventful thing. You take your time. Um, you do... So... Flargal, you hear you hear what you think is like movement above the catacombs. It's a weird sound. It's 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 it doesn't it doesn't sound like an earthquake type thing. It doesn't sound but you can hear now that it's a little more quiet in here, there's less going on, you're more in tune with the area. There's definitely some movement going on as you're walking out. It it makes you kind of double take and kind of look behind you like is something coming Can up I on you? Did thoughts? I really hear that? Can I detect thoughts for it? If you'd like. Further investigate, like see if it's like sentient creatures. Yeah, you sense nothing. Mm. So, yeah, yeah all right. So there, there's something else there. It doesn't sound human. It's not, it's not coming from the caverns. It's weird. It almost sounds like it's either coming from above or below you. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Right. Let's make it back to rest. Yeah. So I guess you tell us that, right? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, and we're like, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> did it sound like a worm? It's it, if you so if you guys putting two and two together, I think it's I think it's pretty safe to say that there is something burrowing either above or below you. I mean, you guys, you guys have seen the worms. You've seen the signs of the worms. You know what you're, you know, it's not human. You, you know, Dadel tells you, hey, I've tried to sense if there's something sentient out there. It's not. There's something burrowing there. If you had to flip a coin, it's 50-50. That's definitely something burrowing through the dirt above or below you. Interesting. Interesting. So you return to the manor? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So you return to the manor. You have a very brief, brief, brief conversation with um, with Faps. You know, you kind of fill him in. He asks you, hey, what the hell happened down there? Do you guys give him all the details? Uh, yeah, I don't think we have to. Well, don't mention the dagger. Don't mention the dagger. No, um, yeah, I, I would have. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about the actual interactions, right? You got... <laughs> I'll say, have you seen this man? <laughs> No, so he he looks at him and t he knows what you've done, right? He knows you're a member of the Grey. He knows you've got a head for a reason. He looks at it very intently. He calls his men over one at a time. Do we know this man? None of them recognize him. Interesting. He does pull out. He looks at um, he looks at uh, Eliad. And he says to Elliot, he goes, I don't know why, but I feel that I should entrust this with you. And he hands Elliot a blue journal. And on the cover of this journal in common, it reads, For my lovely lady, Laura. Is that the aunt? He says, This was my aunt's journal. If you can find what you need in there, I haven't had time to look through it, read through it. We're still searching. I have men to take care of. If this can help you in what you're doing here. 
Thank you, Faps. This will no doubt be useful in our investigations. Can I can I open it and check the date of the last entry? So the last entry, it's so it's it's somewhat there are several pages torn out of it. Right? So this so let's 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 take a step back. This journal is a beautiful journal. A beautiful journal, right? This is definitely the journal of a of a um I don't want to call it a royal, but somebody of 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 wealth. It is was obviously a gift for her to from somebody because of what it says. You would surmise it was probably from her husband with the way that the 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 cover to, for my lovely so and so. Usually, usually that's not something that a father would give to a daughter or a mother would give to a daughter or something along those lines, right? This was this was a gift. Um, the script in it is very beautifully written, hand scripted cursive in common. There are several entries throughout the whole thing. Curse, uh, looking over them cursorily, cur cursorily, curse, giving a cursory, looking over them cursory. Um, you know, there there are notes about moving here from uh, the towns to the north. There are notes about arriving. There are notes about how beautiful the sunrises and sunsets are. There are notes about how she is uh, just ecstatic that her husband was able to join her on this journey. Further in, there are notes about her going through pregnancy and then having the three daughters. Um, but curiously, a lot of the last pages are torn out. Suspicious. Super interesting. Sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, don't, you know your character wasn't listening, so you don't get to know. <laughs> There's I a vibe. Fair enough. <laughs> Final entry that hasn't been torn out. Elliot, um, what I will assume um, is that during this uh, during this long rest, you will take some time to go through this journal. Okay. And then I'll write to you. So, sure. no, the, the last entries, the last several pages, which is very, it's weird, right? Like, why would these last pages be torn out of this? Madness. Um, Madness. They've, they've obviously <laughs> lost their mind. It's possible because it's not done in a in a um in a careful manner it's not like they were you know how you would when you tear pages out of a journal that you just want to tear out because you've written the wrong things or whatever you know that you would you would take the time to to do it squarely this these are torn out a few of the pages still have a couple of the words still on them what kind of words just simple words here or there um Hello. some buzz a few <laughs> You know, manner, um, <laughs> whatever words would have been on those pages. Carrots. Carrots. Carrots, yeah. Peas. Carrots. Yeah. Sweat wipes. <laughs> he was like peas and carrots again. Is it a shopping list? So, Elliot, and your thing, um, write down the personal journal journal of Lara. L A O R A. L A O. O R A. Laura. 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 <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> she likes donuts. <laughs> but not 22. <laughs> but not 22. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm, interesting. Anything else, gentlemen, before we cut the episode here? So we're going to assume a long rest. Yeah, I guess we. Yeah. I guess we say to. Uh, I guess we say to uh, to Faps. Is there any chance of a bed for the night, please, good sir? So they still haven't. You still haven't gone overnight yet. His plan was to have all of him and his men sleep in one room because they still don't know what the hell's going on. No, you guys we, found that we, at the we top. Can we tell him that we can stay on the bottom floor, um, but we'd like like any beds, but we can, we can stay on the bottom floor to keep them safe on the upper floor. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, what I'm getting at is if you ask him to give you separate bedrooms, he'll give them to you. That's no problem. Um, but just as a reminder, he and his men will be sleeping in a single bedroom and posting guards because they, you don't know where that... Where that uh, the trap door leads at the, that you found in the caverns, whether that's here or another house or another section of this house or whatever that may be. Yeah, I guess we should do something similar than here. Yeah, I mean, we'll uh, we'll just station one guard usually as we do. I, uh, I, I, uh, I'm gonna sleep with the numb. 
<laughs> wow. Say what? TMI to me. No, no, no. <laughs> Central. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep with the nom. Like he, he, I, I, I trust the nom over you two. And uh... wow. <laughs> Not in that way, like, I just I just want to be close to the nom. I just want to be close to him. We've got our I rings. <laughs> ring. he's, like, not... he's like he's like my Gimli, like I, I'm like the Legolas, he's like the Gimli. Like, he's, oh my... he's, like, he's like he's like a like an almost trusted friend, like it's a really weird companionship. I'm, I'm struggling to feel like it's normal, like it is definitely weird, but like I, I feel companionship with Nom. Like, well, if, you, if you look back honestly at the combat and the way things have happened, right? Yeah. Freaking, freaking Flargo Snarp is nuts, dude. He's just he's a freaking loose cannon, right? <laughs> this guy could go ballistic at any minute, right? Yeah. So, And then if you look at Daka, Daka hides behind everybody and doesn't engage until it's about time to kill people. Yeah. Elliot is the only one who has so far given of himself during combat to protect others. Yeah, it's not a romantic thing. It's it's like a self. Well, of course, it's not romantic. <laughs> it's a self preservation thing. It's, it's like a, it's, it's like... a little bit romantic. Yeah, it's no, come no, on. No, it's got to no, be no, a little, I, least, I, a, I, at least a I, little I, bit. We can all see Elliot. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I trust him because I feel like he doesn't have like the character traits to be untrustworthy or. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, he's, like, he's a cleric. He's a cleric for a start. So depending on your point of view, they're either the most trustworthy or one of the least trustworthy. Well, yeah, but the thing is, right, right. <laughs> we have I, only <laughs> bought clerics so far. I have a background in, like, warfare. Like, I, I was a soldier. And, like, just, just, you know that there's certain companionships that you need. And, like, so far... I, I have more trust in the nom than anyone else, and like obviously the sharing of the ring and the dagger and all that sort of thing. Like I just, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel, I feel more comfortable with him than you two, basically. Well, mm. also the warding bond is still in effect, so maybe it's having some. Mental, oh, is that what it is? Some mental, oh, uh, oh, you know, oh. causing some mental changes. You're messing <laughs> with my is mind. controlling nom. you. <laughs> Flagel can whisper sweet nothings in your ear though whenever he wants. <laughs> no, you don't want that. It's it's weird. Also, also my questions about the uh, the great engineer. Like I'm intrigued about the great engineer. You know, the chief engineer. The chief, yeah, the chief engineer. I'm I'm a little bit intrigued. I like I want to believe there's more to life than just you know dungeon crawling. We are but cogs in the machine. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look out! <laughs> Is there anything else that anybody wants to do as far as like uh, bookkeeping or anything? Uh, I'll repair the squirrel again. <laughs> okay, uh, did you? Let's see. You've already done that today. Oh, okay, fair, fair. Remember, you took a. Did you guys take a? Sh you guys took a long rest already today, yeah, right? Already taking a long rest, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, long... during the day, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not yeah the you've most taken a long rest already this twenty-four hours, so this could be a short rest only. <laughs> oh really? Uh, oh shit! Yep. Uh, oh. How, how much? How much health do we heal during a short rest? It tells so, us. It's got the thing. Yeah, you roll. You roll dice for it. Yeah, hit dice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and sorry. So I, we don't get our spell slots back then either. Correct. Yeah, so that's a bit fucked, isn't it? But, uh... Right. But I can... Before we'd rest, can I cast... Can I channel divinity to heal people? You most definitely may, Elliot. But it's complicated. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> it's complicated. Because... As are most things in life. In indeed. So the heal says, I, I restore 20 hit points. I can share them among people as I choose. But it can restore people to no more than half of their hit points. So, like, do I know what people's hit points are? <laughs> yeah, you did, yeah, that's something we did talk about. Okay. Okay. And, and then I get the bonus healing, which we agreed, I think, would work with this. 
But does that, does the bonus healing from my life domain also be constrained by this half hit point thing, or does that go above the half hit points? So your life domain says specifically that each each time, each healing activity gives you a bonus, correct? Let me just find it. If I remember correctly, the yeah. way that it's worded. Yeah, Disciple of Life. Whenever you use a, oh, it says you use a spell of first level or higher. Is is the okay? So it's a spell. Okay, so that's different. Yes. So this isn't. Do I, so I don't get it for this. No, you do not, because it is a spell. Okay. okay. This is channel divinity. This is a power. That's a different yeah. thing. This is a. Okay. I think we might have erroneously used it with this before. Then we that's, did. That's we fine. did. And that's yeah. okay. Like I said, I don't mind. Okay. So yeah, I'll. You know, I'll, I'm not perfect. Neither are you. Yada, yada. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I erroneously used my uh, quick toss like five million times without realizing it was a superior. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was a bit bamboozled when you said it. Didn't you use like a million times? I thought I won't say anything, but didn't you use like a million times? Yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can only use that like sometimes. <laughs> so I'll, I'll invoke the the chief engineer and and channel his power through myself into my my friends. So uh, I get twenty hit points. Who wants some hit points? Um, You've got uh, eighteen. Yeah. I think I'm eighteen short. I'm thirty out of forty eight. Yeah. Oh no, but I, I can only go up to half. So I, I think it's just going to be Daedal that I. Uh, yeah, yeah, he'll so yeah, I, Well, I'll put all 20 into Daedal then, and he can... Um, so I've got D10. Is it... So, is a short rest D10? Take a short rest. On a short rest, you spend remaining hit die. So it, a, a, a short rest is whatever your hit die is. What's so Elliot, as a cleric, rolls a different hit die than you do. Mm. So, it's, so you're a D10 because that's what you roll for hit points. Elliot as a priest would roll a different one. Daedal as a uh, sorcerer would roll a different one. I'm sorry, Flargle. So when you click on short rest, it'll give you the number of dice that you would like to roll. Are we, are we, you... So we are taking a short rest then. But hang on, first, can I, I want to heal Daedal. Yeah, can... first heal Daedal. Hey, can you can you heal yourself up to half health, Daedal? All right. Flargle. So Flargal, so 32 is 16, so Flargal plus 4 on your hit points, please. Yeah, and and uh, Jim, can you like cut off half of one of Daedal's ears like, <laughs> for, for the next show? What the fuck? What the uh, hell? Where, where he's wounded, isn't it? Like, where he's wounded. Oh, yeah. I, no. I, I'm sorry, I'm so fucking tired. Uh... No, you're good. Um, add 4 hit points to your... Yeah. Oh, you already did it. You're fine. Do I click take a short rest? So when you click short rest, it'll ask you how many hit dice you want to roll to add to your hit points. You may roll them one at a time so that you know what you're getting. You don't have to like roll all of them or half of them. Oh, so we pick so we can use so I can use like two and then stop. Exactly. Mm. So there so who rolled that one? So Elliot, you get plus okay, Elliot, hold on a sec. Don't add that yet. We're going to do you last here in one second, buddy. Why does the flag will start to get plus two? Because he's, he's, he's a baller. <laughs> and why did Eddie get plus three? Hold on. Hold on. Are you going to roll yours? Oh, okay. I'll roll it. I'll roll it. Yeah, Elliot, hold on to yours, please. Mm -hmm. Six. So do hey. I just add the six? Add the six, yep. Do you want to roll another one there? Yeah, one more, one more. Add that's, another six. Okay, that's me done. Yeah, just let's see. I'm sorry, can I, can I duck out? Yeah, we're we're pretty much done. I'm gonna um, I just want to give Elliot, um, yeah. watch the stream for a few seconds. Yeah, so I'm Elliot. Watch the yeah, see you or the VOD, whatever, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, brother. So, Elliot, when you when you um go to heal yourself, which is essentially what you're doing here, um. The brooch that you have on your on your left breast grows strikingly warm on your breast, and you heal twice the hit points. Whoa, Oof. that's pretty baller. Oof. Oh, oh, wait. So he added that nine automatically. Yeah, I was on twenty, and it's giving. So I got it just. Yeah, it'll the... it'll add it for you. 
So I just put another nine on manually then? Yep. Mm. And, uh, just to make uh, it and clear, it, sorry. And, just to make and it And then clear. it immediately goes back cold to the touch. Right. Just to make it clear why I'm uninjured, um, I've got what's it called? Uh, a second wind, so I could use the second wind before I rested, then get it straight back. So I'm. I get it back without anything. So you're cheating, is what you're saying? No. <laughs> so, so when do these di rolly dice get recharged? On a long rest. During a long rest. Mm. Mm. So I think I'm just going to use another one then. And heal myself to full. Okay, so once again, your brooch warms up again and you actually heal for 16. Mm. And is it going to be a new day? I guess not. No, it is not a new day yet. And then I click rest. But and then, do, um, go ahead. I was just saying, I do get my, I don't get my spell slots, but I do get my channel divinity back. Yes, you do. Channel divinity will return. So do you have any, any slots left? Spell slots left? No. Oh, God. That's, that's rough, isn't it? Oh, hang on. So let me check my... I can cast Sacred Flame. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So my superiority dice haven't came back. Is that... Only I think you haven't taken way? the rest. I don't, I don't think you've taken Oh, no, I haven't. No, no, I haven't. There we go. Oh, yeah, there they are. They're back. Okay. Second win, action surge, superior dice. Okay. <clears throat> so, Dimmy and I are, are at full power. Um, Elliot's a bit gimped. Basically zero power, yep. <laughs> yep. Um, zero? What? Why are you zero? I don't get spells back, do I? Yeah. Oh, right. So, we need a long rest. Yeah, we what? can't have one because we just add one. <laughs> how, how long are we gonna have a? How long is it so we can have a long rest? Like tomorrow, I guess. Till the next day, yeah. Tomorrow, I just. I mean, you you guys long rested already around noon. Ten o'clock to noon. Remember before you went back down. So you long rested less than. You finished up your long rest what? Three hours, hours ago. ago. Two yeah. hours ago. <laughs> yeah. So basically what we need to do is like short rest after every combat and then, well not every combat, but like majority of combats. Yeah. And, so then, not, and, the, then, and then delay the long rest until it's like the day. Yeah, but about. you needed that long rest though. You guys were yeah, jacked we needed up. It. Only yeah, Elliot yeah, yeah, had yeah. anything, remember? Yeah, yeah. We have to long rest after the spell slots are gone basically, right? Like that's... But yeah, that's we should we have short rested before we did that combat, like 100%, I think. But then it's dangerous. We're down. We're down in the dark. So we should have got out and then got back. The we could have got out, gone back to the manor, and then 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 done a short rest, I guess. Yeah, but we should have rested before we did the combat. Yeah, but in just not opinion. not 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 in the caverns though, right? Like we could we could have gone back. Yeah, to the yeah, manor, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we could have gone back to the manor. Like in my rest. opinion, like I was useless in that whole session. Well, well you weren't useless. useless. You were doing what you were supposed to do. It's just that. Everything moved in on you, I mean, ultra fast. I mean, it wasn't... And I was rolling really good again. <laughs> yeah, it, it does suck, obviously, to lose the, the what, four superior dice and the uh, second... Well, no, it didn't use the second one, did you? You still had the second win. Didn't, but lost the... Uh, no, he only used his action, action surge. surge. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, lost action surge. So... And two health potions as well. You, oh, and yeah, and, and, oh, yeah, and, and yeah, his health potions are gone. Elliot's health potions are gone. Daka didn't even think twice about him. Oh, no, yes, he did, actually. He didn't give anybody his, huh? No, I didn't, mm. didn't give anybody his. <laughs> you can give them when they're on zero, though, can't you? So, you know. If anyone goes to zero, then, then you can force the, force the oh, yeah. healing potion. I'll wait till they die, and then they've got no reason but to give Exactly, I'll wait till he's gold. dead on the ground. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bank <Right>. me. <laughs> right, we'll have to... Uh, so that's the end of the show, isn't it, more or less? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that was a long, another long. That was a good. We did four out, four plus hours on that one, and that, that uh, you guys got two combats done in that time frame, which was amazing. But that I second like combat was tough, just because you were. I mean, Jesus, Doc. I mean, you couldn't hit shit. I know. I yeah, rolled so bad. It's it's every time, just... and every time I used the shit attack, I would like rolled sky high, and every time I rolled a good attack, I rolled really low. It was so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, when El and, and Elliot had you blessed in everything. I mean, it's not. I mean, mm. you had everything going for you. Yeah. Imagine yeah. getting to roll an attack. 
<laughs> you, you hit some wow. things eventually. You did loads of serves. Yeah. I love I love how Elliot gives the yeah. ring to Demetrio without explaining to him what it is. That was so yeah, brilliant. Was great. Well, I, sh I should have given it to, to him earlier, to be honest, but I forgot. That was great. No, yeah. it's okay. That was that was friggin' brilliant, though. Yeah. Did a backhand, a, a, a smash, and and forehand. So he did three. I, I remember. Oh, but that was just classic, though. When Elliot's like, "Can I use my action to give him something?" Sure. Why not? What is it? I give him a ring. <laughs> Amazing. You never know what Elliot's gonna come up with. So I'm always wondering what the what the curve is. What's the curveball coming? <laughs> right. There and apparently go. Elliot is gonna work on converting uh, Dimitriov too, huh? Yeah, well, he seems to be interested. Yeah, Dim <laughs> no. Dimitriov is is looking to meet God finally after <laughs> after all his years his years in the battlefield. <laughs> he's coming to the he's coming to the Lord uh, well, like, Lord like, and Savior, the <laughs> Chief Engineer. Engineer sounds less like God, so it's like more hmm. I don't know, believable. Right, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.